Fantastic Tados! Merry Christmas! I am your lovely host, Admin Tado Kai, together with my fellow admins, Josh and Louie. At today, we have a special guest as well. We're being joined by our fellow Tados, Prince and Tado William. Welcome, guys, to the show! Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Hello! Buenos. Where the hell is Louis? Oh, he's a doctor. Yo, Louis, yo, yo. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? I guess it's because of Louis. I guess it's because of Louis net. But for a while, he was like a weeping angel. At one point, he was like a doctor, <laughs> and then like not cut, and then big lang he switched to the camera. And I'm like, no. This is the test. This is the Wi-Fi test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, nakikita ko lang yung back mo eh. Ayan. You know, he's turning our back on us. Wow. All right. Well, uh, oh. everyone, welcome uh, to your fellow Tados to the final Usap Yado of 2023. So, uh, we want to thank you guys for the amazing year we've had. And uh, this is, you know, this is the last episode for the year. And we thought we'd finish off with what we hope will be a regular, a recurring segment here in Usap Dado. And that is us interviewing the different thinkers that we already have in our community. And what better way to start than with uh, two uh, of our um, community painters you know, uh, who have been doing this as a bit of a career for themselves as well. So without further ado, we want to introduce to you to uh, Prince and to William. So um, maybe give us a quick intro about yourself, uh, Prince. Okay, so I'm uh, Prince Reyes. I represent my studio, uh, 202 Arts. It's a one-man studio who offers uh, commission painting. Uh, I've been at it for the last three years, ever since... Uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. All right. Uh, so William, how about you? Hi. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm William Weko. Uh, uh, from Mr. Uhu's workbench. Uh, uh, I started commission painting when I st- when I got back. Actually, I 2016. Siguro mga after. Uh, five months of practicing and painting. A couple of my friends uh, asked me to paint their uh, 72 scale figures and tanks. And from there, uh, word just spread. And then uh, until now, I start. Uh, you know, I kept. I've kept at it. Uh, and then competing. That's about it. Right. Thank you so much, you guys. Been, I want to add all this where our guests are very uh, awarded and decorated. See, William and Prince have won both awards and placed in IPMS the last few years, both in Baguio and in the Nationals. Oh, yeah. right? Yes. Tama, yeah. tama. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were there. We were there. Yeah, we were. We, we com- <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. We competed, guys, and, and we didn't know. Yeah. We lost to these guys. Did we win? All right. We lost to this. Next, oh, alam na, alam na next year kung sino aaway. I mean, ano? Uh, uh, Sportahan. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, we nahulo ka dyan. The arm, the arm so, broke. So, habang... The arm broke. So, medyo icebreaker tayo, guys, no? So, the time, we're in the spirit of Christmas. No? What is your, ano, what's your hobby Christmas wish? Okay, don't give us a dumb is dumb answer like I want world peace. Wag tayo ganon. <laughs> oh, ikaw muna, ikaw muna, Louis. Okay, ikaw muna, Louis. Okay, Sige. Ang simple uh, lang yung wish ko eh. I just wish that Kaizen would start to play Warhammer <laughs> and have her own army. That's it. It's a simple wish. Agree, agree. Wow, wow. 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 Wow, wow, I'm not going to go out here. You're not going to go out here? No, no, actually, no, of course, I want that to happen, but I mentioned it to So, my hobby wish ko is for Louie to get into Conquest. 
Fuck you, man. Lahat na! You're an asshole for wishing that. Now I know how tired you are. Oh my god. If you don't know what happened, you need to play Conquest. Dali lang. Dali lang. Dali lang. Okay, maybe I won't be sizing anymore. Now I know how to do it. Yeah, that is fine. But I guess for real, for real, hobby wish ko is, uh, mapaint ko yung ano ko, yung mga MCT ko. Because I haven't been painting MCT in a long time. I'm actually painting one now. Uh, hey, there's your Spider-Man. I'm actually painting uh, Jessica Drew, Spider-Woman, right oh, now. Nice. Well, not not right now because I'm in the live stream, but later I'll, I'll uh, continue painting her. Very nice. Uh, okay. So, ayun. Okay. okay, how about, how about you? How about you, Prince? Okay, so uh, hopefully, uh, well, my, my hobby wish is to... I have a certain ano so I have a piece coming up na napaganda niya it's 70 mm and hopefully masimulan ko siya at least by this uh, Christmas season since lalo na sakto is same break namin so I have a lot of ample time uh, to paint so yeah that's pretty much it Oh ikaw tado will ano Oh my god Okay uh, me wow that's a uh... That's a that's a big list. <laughs> okay, uh, impossibly to f- impossible naman. Pero I mean, like having a ton of backlogs for as a personal ko. So, uh, kasi because of the commissions, yung backlog is pushing back. So, anyways, uh, I won't wish that to happen. To numaubos ko. <laughs> that's uh, that's wishing upon a star like a million miles away. Pero uh, miss. Uh, Christmas wish ko siguro is to I guess try to get back into minis kasi actually I the last time I painted a mini was during Mage Night days so that's like really really long yeah wow. so that was uh, <laughs> I guess high school ko din that was back in 2000 <laughs> you're aging you're, we, we were literally we were literally talking about this If, uh, before the stream, dude, <laughs> we're aging ourselves. So yun, uh, I, I I saw Mage Knights. Eh. So that was like the first time I had a tabletop uh, uh, game on in on my house, and then I learned about it, and I learned a couple from a friend, and then introduced me to the uh, to the community. So maybe siguro yun yung ano yung Christmas wish ko to start on minis, maybe find dust. Maybe go back to dust. Mm. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, so will you bought Mage Knight and then you painted them? I you bought them? Mage Knight because they were pre-painted, right? Diba? So yeah, uh, I like to modify their faces a bit, make it so different. Eh? So and, and then, but the ones I I never touched were the dragons. I I had one, and then I didn't paint that. Uh, it was already scary enough, eh. Pero the rest, you know, it was fun. Because I, I, hindi pa uso yung ano, hindi pa uso Facebook that time. So all forums, eh. So you know, you had to pero, chat on forums. But that's surprising, because considering, lalo na nung early 2000s, the quality of the old Mage Knight models. Yeah, so they yeah. Were the soft yeah. plastic. Yeah, they were soft plastic. They were bendy, eh. like I still yeah. have a few dito, eh. I still have a few. I, I still have the war machine, ay, yung war machine ng elf. So uh, I, I didn't paint that. So I know that's something I kept. But maybe dust, because I'm looking at dust. I want to get back to mm-hmm. dust also. Shout out oh, to yeah. the parente couple if they're watching. Mama, shout out to the parente. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's my that's my simple wish, just to get back to minis. Mm. Ako, right. ako yung wish ko medyo ano, medyo attainable naman. Play Pero, Warhammer? Ayaw yes, ko muna yan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, my Christmas wish is gusto ko magkaroon ng Underworlds. Like when uh, Louis showed me ng Christmas party, I was like, damn, card games and miniatures in one? I want that! <laughs> so yeah, that's one of my wish. So, I hope Changing may magregalo. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Or maybe finally get like um, the starter sets. I mm. I do have my eyes on them, so 
Who, who knows? You know, we were going to go Santa. If Maki can please, please. What you. faction are you? Uh, I have no idea. Whatever comes down, like the roulette of things, like whatever, I don't Ooh, mind. That's fair. That's fair. So yeah, all right. That's our simple wishes. All right. Oh, you want to add in the chat? Also share theirs. I think this is. I think this is your fiance. My hobby wish thing: asking Advin Joseph a maskom pang Lego. Pang Lego? What does that mean? What does that mean? Enlighten us, Josh. <laughs> because, oh man, sorry. Because <laughs> look, uh, Lego. It's kind of our thing, and she. I said I'd get her a Lego set. I haven't yet. I will, but <laughs> next question. <laughs> <laughs> well, she put you on the spot. I <laughs> made him blush on screen. I love it. <laughs> All right, cool. Wow. Okay. Wow. Look, uh, we have people to interview now, pala, guys. Oh, wow. Guy okay. <laughs> okay. Correct. Correct. Tama. 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 No, let the end in my podcast. I mean, <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so let's let's go to our discussion questions. Josh, do the honors. Yes. yes okay. So again, so um, we we have a couple of uh, questions here uh, directed at both of you, now. And uh, I'm I'm sure you guys have already read this beforehand, but we we uh-huh. want to uh, hear like in, in your own words, you know. So first off, let's start from the beginning. So you guys were clearly into painting miniatures and clearly painting models as well. But uh, when was the point? When was the point where you were like, I could do this to earn money. I could become a commission painter. So what kind of what kind of drew you into becoming a commission painter? No. Let's start with William. Okay. Uh Back in the beginning na lang ah. Uh, but yeah, I started scale modelings muna. Kasi my dad was into everything. Like, he was into scale modeling. He was into RC. Uh, so, uh, we got we got me my first kit. Uh, I can still remember the Hasegawa uh, airplane. So, uh, from there, I started to learn, which I never did. <laughs> Kasi I had no patience. I always had glue on my finger. So, Every time I finished the model, it would look crappy as hell, and I would look, you know, I, I, in in a sense, you were a kid. At mm. at eight, nine, I was painting already, and then uh, my dad would show me tricks on airbrush, but never got into it. And then I stopped. Uh, I stopped. Siguro after twelve years. Uh, after twelve years, I picked up again. That was back in two thousand sixteen. And then, uh, parang I started to buy a kit. I just wanted to learn again. And then all of a sudden, I ko parang uy. I guess the twelve-year rest took a while, and then it just punched back in. And then I showed my friends uh, what ha- what I did. And then one of uh, my friends who owned the shop in Iloilo uh, introduced me to my first customer. Uh, he Not had me. Besides. <laughs> yeah, big shout out to Dexter. Uh, I bomb hobbies. Uh, you know, uh, he he introduced me to my first client, and then, uh, well, much to my surprise, he had a box full of one seventy two scale figures. So imagine painting faces one seventy two scale, and then oh, they're really pretty small, and then tanks and planes on that scale also, because he's building parang uh, a big huge diorama in his room all in scale so yun from there i picked up uh i showed a couple of pictures to my friends and then they sh- showed them to their client uh, to their friends and then client build up na uh and then uh the big boost actually started in 2018 where i had my first foreign client uh mm. yeah my first foreign client and then he he had me make two aircrafts and then just 
before the start of COVID, I met uh, an American also who had me build a ton of uh, macro skits. Uh, very old kits, which well, he was really happy. And then it just, you know, uh, from there on, it was, you know, uh, parang snowball na siya. It started rolling and rolling and rolling. And then I picked up clients now. And then uh, a friend of a friend would tell them na uh, uh, I can build kits to make dioramas. And then until now, uh, I, until now, I'm also currently working with the. Uh, a couple of uh, collectors, private lang. I don't really post their collections, eh. But mm-hmm. I have private collectors who have uh, their planes and tanks built, na. So, uh, and then, siguro a week or two ago, someone approached me about painting mini, eh. Uh, he had zombie sides. Mm-hmm. So he had zombie sides. Uh, so. I I told him like we'll meet after uh, after the holidays na lang so I can we we'll, we can talk terms. So ganun, uh, that's that's the whole that's my whole story of how I got into the commissions. Mm-hmm. Pero grabe, and how long how, how many years was that? Like how yung kwento mong yan, how many years it to take you to establish yourself to where you are now? No, actually, di ba, I got back in 2016 kasi my whole so, term, man, seven my, years. My, Seven years ko na nagko-commission, parang gano'n. Yeah, so 2016, uh, 17, 18. Yeah, yeah, more, more or less around seven years. But uh, yun, uh, my first commission was actually scary. Because eh? that was the part of where everything turned around when when I started posting the 172 scale figures. And then, uh, uh, yung friend ko si Dexter had me display some of my work sa shop niya. That also actually helped out a lot because people would approach and give me a call. Those those were actually it. That was actually in start of 2016, 16, mm-hmm. 17. Dun. Stanley Chua says, "Shall we?" Eat? Yeah. <laughs> so yun. Uh, yeah, from now seven. Yeah, Saktuluwi. Seven years na. I lost count again. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I actually miscounted my age, eh. so yeah, that's. <laughs> I tried to forget. Especially don't be on, don't be on. Especially the idea of getting foreign clients as well. That's you. Oh yeah, the the foreign. <coughs> pero yun lang. Um, with the foreign clients, it's scary as hell. Because timetable kayo, eh. You you miss you miss a day or you miss a week or you miss a month of <laughs> updates. They they start counting. Yeah. They they start counting. It's like it's scary. It's 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 uh for for me every time I try to work, I try to make it as calmly as possible. At the same time, look at the calendar. Na I don't miss that out. But you know, uh, and you had that and, day job, no Will. You were juggling yeah, this day job until yeah, now. I, yeah, until now. I, I I work at the bank in the morning, and then after I clock out, I go back to the shop. Uh, stay there for three to four hours working until ten to eleven, or sometimes I miss the time one, two o'clock in the morning. You really look painted. And then, and then wake up in the morning around six or seven and have a little time with the kids. Yun. So it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Let's throw that. I want to throw that question a month over to. Friends, no? So, what kind of drew you into commission painting? And since na answer din ni William, I want to ask you as well. Do you recall your first paint job? Okay, okay. So, everything started like in 2020. Uh, actually, I just entered in. Uh, parang naging pan- pandemic hobby ko siya. Yun. Uh, mm-hmm. I never even knew na na uh, painting na miniature painting existed. Because I found Pilipinados by accident during that time. Then I saw there, there's people uh, that that paint uh, that paint uh, small small miniatures or you know some mm-hmm. something like that, mga scale models. Mga Wait, how old are you? How old are you? Uh, currently, I'm twenty. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. like, <laughs> so <laughs> young. He was. Uh, he was so in the young. When he started becoming a painter, guys. FYI. <laughs> 
<laughs> then, oh, God. God. anyway, go on. The use. Okay, sorry. Uh, then, like, I started miniature painting formally, like, August 2023. Then, I received stuff uh, from, well, majority of the people is from BCG. Uh, BCG represent, let's go. And one one thing came to another, then somebody approached me uh, about painting 172 uh, modern, military, and then I think it was in the Philippine Camo, if I, if tamang pagkakaalala ko. And yeah, doon na nagsimula yung buong ano ko. Yung parang... But you were into miniatures, you were into models already. You had an yeah, art yeah. I was like, I was building paper models and scratch built tanks mm. before painting, oh, yeah. before painting mm. miniatures. Actually, I have my my old miniature nga here. Nakita ko siya nina. It's like this toy soldier na German. Na uh, yeah. scratch built yan. Ay, nene, nene. Ito yung toy soldiers. This is, ano, parang yun yung okay. unang miniatures ko. Mga plastic soldiers na pinipaint mo. Plastic toy soldiers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we all have that face. Nice, nice. Yeah, then, yun. Sabi ko, might as well, since I'm in college, and I'm in need of, I'm in need of funds, uh, para, ma- para hindi na mahirapan si mama mm. with, in terms of financial stuff, uh, since siya lang nagpapalaki sa akin, mm. I might, might as well take on uh, commission painting as a career. So, yeah, yeah that's, that's how it all started. This is your full-time prince. Sorry? This is your full-time career prince. Um, as of now, yeah, definitely. Pero kung oh, after college, I can, siguro ba mag-ano muna ako, i-pursue muna yung sa IT, sa IT, then continue while growing the studio. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's great. And you, and, and you, cer- and you nice. certainly have, and you certainly have grown, dude. I've seen you post about that, Thank yung you. Um, competition <laughs> that you were in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Prince was one of the people who joined the group. Tapos people kept talking about his posts, unknowing to him. So bangaling niya at his uh, beginner level. Oh, yeah. Quote <laughs> 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 unquote beginner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad well, for that, by well, accident, no. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that, that's the thing, eh? Because it's it's um I notice nowadays it's a lot easier for people to get better miniature painting especially nowadays with all the guides and all the feedback people can get mm-hmm. online because back then you know we didn't have a lot of that we had we had forums syempre, and if you were there and oh, you commented had. a lot you could get feedback easily but nowadays i've seen people before they're like how do i put on a base coat how do i put on highlights that's ngayon they're going full nmm mm. Tapos, ano, uh two light source osl they're and they're doing it within like a span of a year, two years, yeah. and they're so good at it. Yeah, and the link yeah. it's so cool to see how far people can take it nowadays. No? So um with that as my with that, I kind of want to get into our next question, which kind of bridge which kind of relates to that growth, no. Um okay. you guys, as miniature as commission painters specifically, how has commission painting um enabled you to explore yung different methods of painting? <laughs> Because, of course, you get different clients, right? Different uh-huh. clients who need different miniatures and different ways to paint them. Like, how do you navigate that, naman? Like, um, which which um clients in the past really pushed your creativity? Uh, okay, okay. If you if you recall, Una ka, Let's start with Prince, naman. <laughs> okay, okay. Back and forth, tayo, <laughs> so. From what I remember, because and and daming and daming naging clients na like they were out of left field talaga, like parang hindi hindi ko hindi naman miniatures yan, parang ganon. Uh, pero I still I still accepted it because I wanted to learn specifically. So for example, I had this commission na para siyang mga rob para siyang ano spider robots. Di ko alam kung I can still find the pic. Pero they were spider robots na lamp. Tapos, ang gusto ni client is weathered sila, mm-hmm. parang nasa Mars sila. So, that challenged, one, my weathering. And mm-hmm. two, kung paano kong i-apply yung sa, yung sa dust. Kasi parang gusto niya talagang weathered as hell. 
Tapos, there are other projects naman oh. na where oh. I got to study. Sorry? Oh. Anong, anong spider uh, robots to? Like, are they min- game miniatures or just toys? Ah, uh, no. They're like uh, 20 inches big. Like this. Ganun. Tapos, Whoa, they're pretty they, big. They oh, are, they are, they are, ano, oh, they are, okay. ano, okay. featured as lumps. Tapos, adjustable lahat ng mm. parts, so I, I needed to disassemble them para ma-paint na maayos. Then, yeah. Uh, so, parang sword na ano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Parang gano'n yung look niya. As para silang, parang, parang scouting mm. robots ata sila. Parang sa lore. Parang gumawa kami ng lore ni client. Mm. Like, out of the blue. Had fun with that. Tapos, yeah, other than that, meron rin yung mga large, meron rin akong isang client na nagpapapaint sa large scale. Actually, meron nga project sa right now uh, na inaano ko pa. I'm taking my time with it since it's it's large, it's life size. Pero yung dati niya is one-fourth scale ata ng Superman. And it's a bust. So, it was my, it was like my first time taking a very, very large project. Uh, and I pulled through naman, dito pa, no? I understood how how different painting skin is with larger scales compared to smaller scales. Mm-hmm. Kasi pag larger scales, ano eh, you can ignore a lot of things. Kasi yung natural light naman galing sa sa yeah. paligid is, ano na, mm-hmm. yun, ang, yun ang bubuhat. Hindi to <clears throat> sa miniatures na kailangan mong i-force yung, ano, or else it won't, it won't look Uh-oh. too good. Mm. Oo. It's, it's like, it's like, ano, it's like uh, putting on stage makeup, di ba? Because when you're from yeah. a, when you're like in, in theater when you're a, when you're far away, in order for the audience to see you, you need to up the contrast ng cheeks, yung chin. You have to emphasize. You have to emphasize that stuff. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, um, that's ano lang, that's that's ano, that's the stuff, the projects that pushed me uh, far. Then nagimprove naman. Uh, so I'm just and yeah. All right. Thank you. Uh, Will, how about you? Okay, uh, yes. Well, I'll be specific sa client who pushed me really hard. Uh. The, the, the last, or my current client actually, he's, he's a very good friend of mine. He's, he's been supportive since 2019. And he's actually the American who's always been keeping tabs on the time. So, you know, uh, working with him actually pushed a lot of things on my creativity, on especially with taking the effects of worn down aircraft or trying to make the tanks as uh, uh, battle war worn but at the same time it's subtle it's not too overkill like i used to do before so uh he you know chris actually pushed a lot into me so uh especially with the with his tanks so for example uh for example, there were different techniques I found using a sponge that uh, it's not just for chipping. It's you can actually texture a lot of things with the sponge. So uh, I actually applied that also sa mga machine in Krager Sco. Uh, I I create different colors. Like for example, your base color would be brown, but then you want to give it a little more like surface effect. But at the same time. Uh, like for example, ito. I don't know if it, you can see it. Oh God, I've seen this. Oh, yep. nice. so, ah, okay. I'm so, yeah. before, like it. so so this one is like if you look at it it's a video or some pictures, it's just it's just desert sand. Pero if you look closely sa mga sa mga sections niya, there's a lot of different colors going around. So mm-hmm. yung yung desert sand, I mix it with a little gray to give it a little more. Uh, discoloration aside or I add a little more brown to give it more depth parang ganun. and then I use the sponge this is actually whole sponge painted eh. it's just dabbing and dabbing and building up colors oh. and then and then uh, yung tank niya actually is still here so the, the the king tiger I built for him so it's still here it's actually a repaired tank it, it was built before but I had to uh repaint it and then give it uh, a different camo pattern oh uh and also i had a little help from sir, uh, sir albert labrador big shout out yeah. to you sir saludo saludo oh, uh, and scale yeah. modeler 
Yeah. So and different techniques actually. I I also paint figure faces not by brush but using airbrush na lang kasi I I kind of learned that if I thin down the paints kahit lacquer siya I can create different shades yun uh, but but when it comes down to the minis na or to 48 or 32 second scale medyo I need blending funny thing about blending is I you can only use uh, ano diba uh, usually it's water based Uh, so I don't use water base. Eh. Uh, I find it funny uh, why I'm not even using water base when I have water base paints at uh, at the shop. I I always paint my faces lacquer. So painting and trying to blend all those colors with lacquer is like mushy if you can't get it right. Parang ganon. So. Yeah, you got used to it. Maybe it's because of the smell. <laughs> yeah. the, the high, the high, that high, the high, the high effect. But you know, uh, I got, I got used to painting the figures, kahit sa mga minis. And then lately, art toys, uh, the art toys uh, that were released last Toy Con, uh, were, uh, were sponge painted also. So I, okay. yeah, so. I uh, also yeah yun pala uh, art toys are different if, uh, ano naman different approach to what I usually do so uh one of the collaborations I had with uh, Jimmy uh was his Mecha Wiki so Mecha he had me do uh my uh, machine and Krieger style of painting on it eh. so it's all about the chips and the rust pero at the same time trying to keep it as balanced as possible uh And then, balik naman tayo sa usual commissions ko aircraft, which is really, really technical to a lot of things. Eh. When you try to keep to the history on the aircraft, it's, it's, it's very, very, it's very scary when you have a lot of eyes watching you doing your stuff. Eh. So, uh, yeah, I try. I remember. I, um, I remember that there's some people who. Ah, yeah. oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So with the aircraft, uh, uh, with the aircraft, I mean, it's a whole different ball game. Oh, especially with the World War II or military stuff. Kahit sa tanks, there's there's always that level of you know uh, subtleness to the weathering. But you know, I used to do heavy weathering, eh? but this year I kind of changed my game. Uh, I told myself that uh, I'll try to talk to my clients and level off everything. Like for example. Uh, settle down the weathering. The tones are a bit lighter. The the dust are a bit lighter. Also, chippings are a bit lighter. Ganun. Unlike the last few years, and then the ones I have displayed in Japan is uh, heavy weather. Because those are the culture stuff. Eh? It's also there. That's where also the the ones you offer to your clients. Eh? It's regarding to what they like to their culture also. So mm-hmm. there are there are different types. Eh? I I noticed in the Philippines, sa atin. It's more of like they want it subtle, and at the same time, they want to see the colors and then the weather, the effects on it are seen. Salabas naman is a whole different thing of how they appreciate it. The dirtier it is, the more yummy it looks to them. Eh. Parang ganun. And then when I when I entered uh, to Mac, Mac actually is also one of the turning points dun sa akin. Eh. Uh, when I went. Not me actually. When my toys or my when my machine and Krieger got shipped to Japan uh, because of a friend telling me join the event, dun na this dun ko nakita that they actually like or you know they actually see that the weathering there is is magic for them, especially the rust. So uh, that's where it all started for me. The rust also. Uh, Uh, that's why there's a lot of com- that's why there, that's why there's a collab between me and Mekawiki kay Wuji and then sa kay mm-hmm. Kid Buffalo right now I'm doing a weather Kid Buffalo for him so you know, this is the headgear pala the headpiece for the buffalo so it's it's not yet fully weathered pero uh, you know I'm trying to sorry I'm trying to fix it pa but You know, uh, other than that, 
uh, other painting styles. Wala na, oh yeah, uh, airbrush. Uh, it's 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 always my it's always my go-to. Mm-hmm. I've always been an airbrush person. Kahit kahit ano, uh, you know, uh, airbrush person ako talaga. Uh, it's I I've never been a hand painter before. Kasi I knew my hands were shaky. Really <laughs> shaky. Uh, you know, but I do try. I, I do try. I, I Even to the point that I PM people, help me. Because yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a different thing. Eh. That's why I, I, I have, you know, I, hands down ako sa inyo, actually. When it comes down to miniature painters, I'm totally blown away about the details you guys put into the minis. Uh... Uh, that's why I always try to follow sa Pilipintados natin that you know I can see different styles eh. I I don't even I, I I try to even blow up the figure the videos you're you're doing just for me to show that the paint brushes or new movements on paint brush eh. Kasi mm. I want to try to mimic what I see. I don't usually for example like you said YouTube YouTube's a really big help pero I never watched YouTube. It's more of like <laughs> I mimic what I see in the picture. Uh, um, Will, sorry, ah, I say we're we're also going into a topic I want to sort of discuss because both you and Prince mentioned style, and Shempre, as painters, as we all are, we all have different styles. But yeah. I think viewing style as a commission painter is kind of tricky because for sure you've already touched on some st- instances where your personal style is developed versus client has a personal style so yeah. i'm sure there's some instances where clients seek you out for your personal style and some clients request you to deviate from that in yeah. both for prince and william in your experiences is having your own personal style of commission artist more of a helpful thing or is it more of as a hindrance when it comes to dealing with client so for commission painters or aspirants should they develop their own style or should they feel bad if they lose a client? I kind of want to add to that a bit because William mentioned that they really like the weathering no? as opposed to Dito, they prefer the crisp and clean stuff. I think part of the reason why the weathering thing is very popular or it's very appealing no? is because it looks used, it looks gamit siya, hindi factory no, so it's, it's especially with the context of what you're painting, um, some things really do look better if it's worn and just and not pristine. So I guess that's the mindset of people there. Uh, yeah, so you sometimes know, for the anyway, guys, uh, guess, is it more of a hindrance or is it more of a helpful thing to have a personal style as a commission painting? Friends. Okay, so I think it can, it can, I think it can help. Because for one, your, your personal style is you can apply it to a parang ano, parang nerfed version. Because usually, what I, I, I have tears because in my, ano, in my commissions, uh, so I have to hold myself back sometimes from overdoing details. Because that would take a lot of time. So I think it can assist in, ano. In the overall like uh, uh how do you call this parang yung yung overall ano hindi siya pang it cannot it 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 is it, not a hindrance naman per se parang okay it's so you never had clients tell you na I want you to deviate from your personal style gusto ko kopya kop- kop- mo yung style ni Josh gusto ko magpaint ka ng parang <laughs> ginagawa niya ah uh, actually ganyan uh there's one client na sabi niya uh, parang tinanong niya ata how much for for a ano, for a golden demon level na na painting style i turned that down <laughs> i'm not okay. ano, I, I don't um... like deviate I, I don't like deviating from my style too much since ano parang it will take it will take a lot of time uh, that will take okay. other time of of whole learning uh, yeah that's uh... regardless of the cost no like it's not <laughs> worth it when you add it oh okay Okay. Yeah. Uh-uh. And for you, naman, Mr. William, is your personal style an assistance to your commission painting career, or do you find that na you're not able to paint the style that you like because what the clients keep asking you to do? 
Actually, uh, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm always been an explorer type, eh? so I'd like to try new things out. Like, for example, uh, trying to keep it clean, like really pristine, like finish. Yeah. There was one who uh-huh. actually asked me to build his macros like really, really clean. Which, mm-hmm. yeah. So, uh, I was able to do that. I was able to deliver him five macros Valkyries in a clean finish. Mm-hmm. Panel line lahat. Yun lang. Panel line. Mm-hmm. Shiny white. Ganun. And then just flat blue. Which was really, really, for me, heart heartbreaking. Because <laughs> it's like, re- you, you're holding back everything. Eh. Pero at the same time, you're also... Yeah? Oh. <laughs> what happened, Louis? You got cut off, Josh? Ah, uh, Josh? <laughs> or Josh or Sorry, I, I was nodding in approval. Yes, I agree. Yeah, yeah. but you know, uh, in a sense, it's also the same. It's also testing your patience of like trying to keep everything in a pristine and clean manner. Because uh, there, it actually helped me out. Ah, because uh, when I built that those Valkyries, when I delivered it to him, I got a really good comment, and then he started pouring all his. Kits na so that's that's the tar- starting point actually of the commission builds sa uh, kay Chris mm. and then he did and then dun siya nagsabi na okay do your thing but but I don't like my tanks to be battle damaged like I don't want missing fins mm. or I don't like I don't like bent uh, sections ayun but he did hinder he did put a little bit of I don't want this and that. I don't like sobra chipping or I like I don't like the the rust to be anywhere like runny or ganun. Okay. Pero tinanggap mo pa rin yung project, kumbaga. Like I said, I was always a cha- I always took everything as a challenge. Eh. There's there's never a commission that I backed out on. Uh, uh okay. number one, yeah, it's an it's for me number one it's a learning curve also eh. for everyone who I worked with uh, it's always been a learning pattern. Eh. Uh, uh, there was a client of mine who even to the point of letting me build a specific aircraft from a German uh, Air Force that was not even in markings and uh, I deleted that post actually because I got bombarded <laughs> so yeah it's a, it's a really it's, it, it, kahit, kahit when you say it's a what if it's it's some yeah. for for some purists actually it's it's a bad thing for me because i'm doing a client a what mm. if it's it's still something that i need to control uh sometimes there are things that i should not post that you know that might hinder the community also even though if it's just for commission it's still something like a questionable mm. thing for some people but then again that's anyways uh back to the style so the, the white thing actually helped because this year uh, I entered an aircraft that looked like a shiny car. <laughs> so mm-hmm. that was like uh, that was that was like actually a, a deja vu moment for me because I, I told myself like I'm weathering all my planes right now, but no one expects me to show up with a shiny plane. So why not shine mm-hmm. one up? Uh, and mm-hmm. I got a comment from a friend of mine. What's that diecast? <laughs> It is so shiny right now. You're on the wrong side of the board. You should be there with the cars. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know, you know, uh, but but that actually was also a plus because that plane just before national, just after nationals, uh, a few months after that was being sold uh, to us to another client, not 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 actually a client of mine, to someone who followed my page. Uh, they just viewed it and they said, "I like the Wildcat." Uh, is that for sale? And I was like, which one? The weathered one or the clean one? Um, and he said, like, I want that shiny one. The the one with all the rivets showing. So, we talked price. We talked about the shipping. And uh, I actually discovered that shipping from the Philippines to Texas via FedEx is, like, scary as hell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, money, I, I, yeah. I, I charged the guy so cheap that I was even shocked that the price of the shipping was more to what they charge. <laughs> yeah. It's usually was, around 2,800. Okay. Lowest no, the, one. The box that I put it on was about four. 
I'm four. Yeah. You should get. But the lowest yeah, rate is two thousand six hundred. Yeah, because because well, I don't have to put support. Well, shipping that fluctuates, especially after pandemic, last no fluctuation. Yeah, actually, I I was blown away with that because I was able to ship a model before the pandemic. It's it was cheaper, kite post office cheaper, but you know. Anyways, uh, also back sa sa painting styles. Uh, and then to the weathering. Actually, that specific client, parin. Back to him. Back to Chris. After hindering all me, like for example, the weathering. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually proud of that guy. I'm actually proud of that guy because if it weren't for him, uh, my my weathering would be still all out, you know, dusty, rusty, and oily. Right now, it's more of like controlled. Sha, I'm I'm. Uh, it's it's very subtle to the point that I it's it's like I can shift from my usual to to back to Chris and just like that and then and then uh, what else? Yun actually specifically it's all about Chris right now. <laughs> yeah, the, the American so, guy we... has actually a very big help. Sha, actually, uh, you know, it's also a learning curve, and at the so same overall, time, overall, no, it, it's useful to have that style as a commission painter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 still good to have that because you can always talk to the client like, can I can I do just a little bit of this? <laughs> You know, you can, mm-hmm. I I don't want to deviate from the usual stuff I do, but can I just add this a little bit of that? Because mm-hmm. without that, it's not gonna look good, especially when it comes to a tank. Mm-hmm. I mean, like for me, a clean tank is not good to look at. I it needs a little it dust. It's weird, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It does. Unless what hammer, yan. Actually, like it's a warhammer. I notice, especially with the newer releases, they put they put weathering because it's so weird that it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it feels right. Dapat ganon, dapat dumé. Yeah. Ay gas gas dapat yan. It goes back to the point I made kanina. Na you know, um, they like it because it looks used and it fits where the setting is. There's context. Yeah. Right? Yeah, actually, that's true. Right. Kite, you know, kite siya, just Why sitting as I... is. That was weird. Why was I no. suddenly Lawrence on screen? Sorry, Why did sorry. you go for Te- screen? Tech problems. Sorry, <laughs> sorry okay. tech problems. Tech problems. Okay. So, ayun. Uh, thank you guys for your answers, no? But for now, let's move on a bit to uh, a special segment that we promised tonight, no? So, uh, yes. Yes. before we continue to do other questions, let's have a really quick intermission. Because as we mentioned, we will be raffling off uh, a couple of items tonight. No, so guys, why don't, introduce, why don't we? Why, why don't you introduce the first couple of items that we're going to raffle off? Okay, okay first we're gonna raffle yeah. off uh, because it's our new line of stuff right now. It's been a while to shop in basing bits. Yes, you want to make Ooh. your bits? I mean, your bases hot like. Like this? Wait, how can I... Wait, Sana manalo ako. You know, you have to make your bases really, really cool and stuff. So, we're raffling some of our bit kits. We have our jungle bits on raffle. And then our ruin kits as well. So, ito na. Ito na yung first ano natin. Um, I keep forgetting how to add screens in this thing. All yeah, the time. This will be our first pinwheel, first winner for tonight. Yes, yes. Uh, does everybody wait? I have to add it for the screen. So to be included in there the you raffle, go. you have to you have to submit. Pa, how do they be part of the raffle? Uh, okay, so we're gonna so to be part of the raffle, you guys have to submit your sh- pile of shame. Yes, yeah. which has so been already. So lang may shame, kaya konti lang nag-submit. Hindi lang yung message Kaya nga, nag-message lang ako. Lahat, Guys, sige na, lahat, sige na. Takot, Ayaw na lang. Takot, takot. There's no prize for showing the backlog. <laughs> <laughs> Mga takot. Well, showing your backlog is fun. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's go. It's our first roll. Let's see, let's see. Oh, 
Oh, oh Dania Matienzo. I uh, there you go. I hope I pronounced your name right. Congratulations. Please to claim your prize, guys. Always don't forget to message us the admins and we will give you an instruction how to claim your prize. Yay! Thank you for everyone. Congratulations. Has, and you, they win a whole set of, of the ring. Or they can get them back. The, yes, our jungle sets and the ruin set that we have. Wow, yes, uh, going you sexy, you basis new. <laughs> okay, that's our first raffle. What's next? To leave a tie at home or sapo raffle? I don't know. So, sapo raffle. We can move on to the next Josh. couple of questions, and then yeah. uh, after the question, let's move on. Hello, hello, hello. Am I here? Yeah, yeah, continue, continue bro. Continue. continue. Okay. Uh, let's continue. move on to the next couple of questions. So, yeah, let's move on to the next couple of questions, no? Uh, and then afterwards, we can raffle off our last two. Uh, well, technically three. Our... All right. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, see. Moving on, no. So we talked about your history. We talked about the challenges that you've had in the past. Now we kind of want to ask something that might be a bit personal and might be a bit uh, introspective for you guys. And that is, could you share what your biggest oopsie moment was mm. in Commission Pink? Where were the time? Like, like, if if you're comfortable with sharing, what was the time that you were like, oh, I should have done this instead, or I. You, you didn't feel quite like you, you couldn't deliver the thing uh, you wanted to, no? Or maybe you uh, messed up, even. Uh, let's start with Will for this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm trying to look back. Yeah, okay. Uh, two clients, actually. It's not because it, they came to me. Uh, with the built kits actually so you know rebuilding a built kit by someone you don't even know or someone uh, who built it for them and then they wanted it redone to to their to their liking because they didn't expect or uh they didn't like how it came out so rebuilding that and was actually uh, a big no-no for me right now no more again that that this will be actually this is the moment that actually said na no more exploring rebuilt kit so uh you know rebuilding a kit from from uh, rebuilding it uh, as built so you have to take apart the parts you have to open everything up remove the paint remove the glue so uh the first one actually was for a friend who had me rebuild a plane built by a, a builder also. He didn't like how the blue came out, so I had to redo everything. So, but knowing me, naman, I wanted it to, you know, match everything. So, I took out the cockpit, repaint the cockpit, redo the cockpit, uh, and then uh, the big oopsie moment was actually the canopy. So. Uh, you know, after removing all the parts, but you just set it aside. Ganun. Canopies are clear, yeah. to be exact. So they're clear. You know, having big, big shoulders and arms on a small table is really hard. So, you know, when you move your elbows and you hear a cracking sound, that's a canopy. <laughs> you know, so I broke the canopy of uh, the plane. So I had to, yeah, the, the, yeah, that actually happened. So I, that the thing that I did to remedy the issue was uh, rebuild the canopy, fill it up with epoxy, and then do a smash and hit technique, which is heat up a piece of plastic, really, really soft, and then hit that old canopy rebuilt so it it becomes mm. another canopy it's it's rebuilt now but it took me about a week to research 
So medyo umatras yung schedule of time for the delivery. Which, that was like the first oopsie. <coughs> second second oopsie ko uh, was uh, for a macros rebuild. It's it's a it's a it's a built uh, kit already also. So I had to uh, I had to remove all the paint. The oopsie moment there was actually uh, I used the wrong paint remover. Mm. So you know the 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 panel lines all went gone. Uh, it 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 disappeared. So I had to clean up, rescribe everything, uh, and then, uh, yun, it, it actually it solved a lot of things. But uh, you know, piecing that thing together was really hard because old macro kits have really bad plastic. Nay, they they grow old. As they grow old, their plastic starts to brittle up. So you have to really handle them well. Uh, there are ty- there are times that even when you just you know do your slightest touch just to hold it into place, you don't even know your strength when on mean on the plastic. Eh? It just cracks sometimes. So uh, that those are the two oopsie moments I would say that actually just give me gave me uh, you know those moments where you had big. Uh, in cartoon moments, parang big blob of sweat right there. That's like, God, what happened now? So, mm-hmm. breaking that canopy was something which actually disco- which I discovered also that I can do a smash and hit technique on any <coughs> canopy that gets to be broken. And then the mm-hmm. the repaint issue with the uh, macro skit. Uh, and then, actually, it's it, it's here, the the kit. So it's. It's rebuilt na. Uh, it's all cleaned up naman. But, you know, it the lines and everything. So, balik na siya. Uh, which is, which is, which is a thumbs up naman for, for the client. It's okay na for him. Uh, kasi, he wanted the right colors. Uh, kasi, when it came, it had different types of white. Eh. It didn't have the matching white that he liked. So, that's uh-huh. one... The, those were one of the negatives he didn't like, and then he counted. Yeah, there's that part also where he counted all the unpainted parts from that kit. So <laughs> he sent me like, oh. there are 36 bits of pieces that were unpainted, and I said, mm-hmm. which part? I can't even see that they're unpainted. <laughs> so you know, so what I did was just took everything out, repainted it. But yun mm-hmm. lang. Uh, the second batch of parts that I removed with the paint remover, the panel I just, you know, totally was eri- uh, erased. So, uh, mm-hmm. I kind of used the wrong paint remover on that. Uh, pero, Is this you know, ABS plastic ba? Kaya siya na now? It's Bandai plastic eh. Uh, so, it's ABS. Oh, it's ABS. It's yeah, ABS, yeah. Oh, 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 that, sorry, quick, quick tangent. Because now I'm curious. You, uh, so... It removed everything, including the panel lines, right? Because it's an old Bandai kit. Eh. It's it's a nineteen something macro kit. Eh. The, ah. the the plastic was the plastic already was cracking and it was folding, but you know to the to the point that you know uh, it could have been so- solved if if he just painted it like the whole thing white. Because the the client only just wanted everything in white. Eh. He didn't really want the, you know, he didn't want the modulations on the aircraft. He didn't like the different types of white tones. He's more of like a purist sa, sa macros niya. He just wants it macros white, ganun. Mm-mm. And then the blues should be the specific blue to the macros team. So parang ganun. So uh, it all revolved on that specific aircraft. Actually, not just one, but... I, I painted two of his uh, repainted actually repainted two, so yun uh, uh, there was a big oopsie but at the same time a recovery naman eh. so you know uh, this will be delivered to him along with the the rest of his stuff uh, by the end of the month. I say I'm. Uh, I, have a, I have a question. Yeah. I have a, I have a, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. 
So when you said na um, the, the paint remover you use also got yeah. rid of the panel line. Yeah. Is there a paint stripper ba na does not get rid of the panel line but it removes everything else? Uh, again, again, there's a. Um, is there a paint stripper ba that removes everything else except the panel line? Yeah, uh, except the panels, uh, remove the paint. Yeah, yung uh, yung yeah. ginaga. Actually, the one I used before, because I didn't have time to ship it anymore. Pero the last batch of paint began. I no 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 sorry. My my question was because you oh, mentioned sorry. you mentioned because na natanggal Wait. lahat ng panel lining. Ah okay. I uh, it's a uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I can't really mention the name, eh. <laughs> but it's it's a paint stripper. It's a paint stripper. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. I I I used bef- actually I used it before. Eh. I use it on on different kits. I don't like the paint on. It it I had no problem with it. Eh. It's just this specific kit that happened to be like when I removed when I dipped it in, it removed the paint. But when I started cleaning off the paint that was left. The panel line on that shield was gone. Oh, okay. I guess. Either your panel line was not uh, painted with actual acrylic or oils. Baka, let's say alcohol based to ginamit na pang paint. It, it happens. Yeah, possible for Yeah. The, the the funny thing was like uh uh it it kind of bothered me because I, I I used that specific paint paint stripper to. To remove anything, kahit sa mga resin prints, it mm. it doesn't really have a problem with that. Eh. This time it reacted to it, eh. and then specifically on a specific section lang, and it's identical mm. section. Mm. So, so it's the identical sections that like ang sabi ko, okay, it's the plastic, it's it's the plastic itself. It's like when we use enamels on uh, Bandai plastic, di ba nagre react siya. So. Bandai has the tendency to crack some enamel wash. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, uh, I don't know if na experience you, but uh, I stopped using enamel washes on my Bandai. Eh. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Pero yun. Other than that, uh, those are actually the two experiences I had. Uh, that would I would say those are the oopsie talaga for me. For me, for me. What about Prince? Come on, we haven't heard from Prince's uh, side. Okay. Unless Prince doesn't what have are any your, What are your issues? Okay, so, yung sa akin naman, I can think of two things. Yung isa, yung isa is napaka frequent, and yung isa naman is a one-time thing. So, I had this, uh, I had this, ano, a DND Red Dra- Fire Dragon, I think. And oh, the time, big one. Uh, <laughs> ano lang, 3D print, yeah, yeah, the big one na 3D printed, uh-huh. yeah. Then, ano, nang, kasi hindi, hindi yata namin na-discuss nung client at that time na ayaw niya ng dark, ayaw niya na parang gritty, mm-hmm. ayaw niya ng dark, gusto niya ng, gusto niya ng vibrant. So, ang ginawa ko since at that time, my style was pretty grim, was parang ano, parang grim dark pero not too grim dark na style, like, like what, earlier this year or last year, I think. Uh, ang ginawa ko is tinagtaran ko siya ng wash. Uh, Binaise ko ko, tinagtaran ko ng wash. Tapos, <laughs> then, I, I thought, okay na. Kasi, well, syempre, dragon should be gritty. Should be, uh, parang, kailangan, ano siya, <clears throat> talagang ilang beses na siya ina-attempt pa patayin. Yeah, yeah. So, when I turned it over kay client, hindi niya nagustuhan uh, to the point na I, I almost lost him sa client no, dati. So I had to redo it in vibrant colors which was uh, quite a a new thing for me since ang nakasanayan ko talaga is painting only parang grim dark style. Uh very very na uh, hindi naman very very dark pero parang it's been it's been uh, damaged it's been uh, you know uh, faced in war or something like that. So I had to repaint that for like uh, a few days. Tapos after noon it was okay na then Nun, nun na, I learned na ayaw nyo, na, ayaw nyo talaga na, ayaw nyo ng dark and yeah then the second thing I can think of is actually this is very common kasi how my table is uh, set up 
is dalawang paint uh, yung rotating paint truck sa on both sides then meron yung water yung water ito yung paint cup ko is andun sa in between them pag naglalagay ako ng miniature sa dun sa resting area ang nangyayari is natutulak ko siya tapos nahuhulog nahuhulog yung miniature dun sa paint water <laughs> so that that takes that takes ano that takes redoing uh, kasi may sometimes kasi drying drying face pa kasi tapos na ano siya dun sa water so yeah kaya it's due for changing na tong setup ko and yeah yan lang parang simple sim- uh, simple oopsies lang parang ganun at least you had simple oopsies <laughs> pero yun yan pero, pero, pero pag yun 7 yun, years ka na Prince magkakagano magkakamaraming oopsies ka na agay <laughs> pero, pero Prince I mean like I like the part where he, you had to adjust sa client mo the re- the vibrant thing it's it's like it's like what I said before eh. it's it's always never it's never you know it's never bad to go to to try new things eh, and then explore it how it works because like you said if for example you like the grim and the uh, dark stuff ako, i like the rust and that you know heavy weather and rusty and oily stuff and then my gusto siya naman yung vibrant actually you know diba, if you play out with the color palette si iba siyang feeling no yeah like iba ka and then and then you have that parang uy okay pala to no Mm, parang ano parang pushing the parang parang pushing yung ano ba yun your comfort yeah, yeah. zone parang ganun yeah. Uh-huh. yeah pero I mean just to 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 also speak for the people who are listening and also as a commission artist myself na not so active anymore a lot of us kasi we aspire or look up to people like the two of you guys who sort of have a consistent um stream of work and they seem to have, you know, always uh, pub- published projects. Uh-huh. Do you think commission painting, for at least the two of you personally, is something that is viable as a full-time career here in the Philippine context? Especially for you, Prince, yun yung pag pinagpupuho na mga yun. And if so, um, what are the things or factors that you to think have to happen to make it like a full-time thing here in the Philippines? Because consensus, I've been asking this around. I know a lot of us feel hindi siya pwedeng full time. Ayan lang. Mm. So, at least for for me kasi, parang it can work kasi so it's Nawala so ako. much. Hindi, okay ka lang. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, so continuing on. Uh, it's somehow viable. Parang ito kasi yung hobby natin. It's a niche. It's a, it's a pretty, ano eh. It's a pretty hidden niche, pero it's good na spreading out na siya. Pero here in the Philippines kasi, uh, meron ta kasi tayo, parang ang tingin ka sa miniature painting is parang, ay bakit, bakit the, parang in general with art, bakit ganyan kamahal ang pricing mo or something like that. And so, mm-hmm. siguro it's not it's not viable as a full-time job unless talagang maging studio na mag-branch out siya ng ano, mag-branch out siya into multiple things, hindi lang mini painting, kino-cover pa rin figure painting, figure figure repairing, parang ganun. I think that that way magiging viable siya. Pero by its own, uh, with how everything is right now. Tapos parang oh, parang ano rin, all the clients are many pero syempre <coughs> the market is com- is pretty competitive rin kasi ano lang tayo alin rin tayo very saturated na eh uh uh-uh. uh yeah very saturated na yung market eh yun yung yeah. problem like I, like right now marami tapos may kukompetensya ka pa for, for the art world may kukompetensya ka pang AI and stuff yeah. and then if if other artists let's say in the same field as you has lower <laughs> prices makikibakbakan ka pa sa kanila at sa prices exactly. nila yeah. which is like mm. very 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 competitive mm. <laughs> so how do you guys uh, ito follow up to that how do you guys deal with that naman like ano yung I guess yung terms nyo to your clients in terms of pricing, in terms of quality, in terms of turnover time, you know, pa- paano nyo hinahandle yeah, yan? Yeah, time management in general. Yeah. Mm, okay. uh, who starts? Uh, let's start with friends for now. Okay. 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 Okay.
and the family also. That's interesting, yeah. especially in the go over time for just like a bit. Okay, so ako naman, I operate on three tiers pag sa pricing. I have tabletop, tabletop plus, and display. Usually. <clears throat> Kasi may mga iba-iba pang ano pa, may iba-iba pa akong mga para mga categories. Uh, now, for ano naman, as for time management, usually dapat, ang, ang usually ang ginagawa ko is ina-iron out ko na agad before, before everything else. Kung ano ba yung project, ano ba yung gusto ni client, ano bang itsura ng gusto ni client. And is this a rush job? Or pwede naman siyang open, ano? O para, pwede naman siyang parang open deadline, parang ganun. So, yeah. Uh, after that, yung prices naman, uh, I think, naka, as I said, nakadepende siya kung anong scale, saan galing yung miniature. So I, so, I would know kasi sometimes inconsistent ang um, scaling with 32mm and 28mm parang nag-switch over sila. So, sometimes those are, those are different sizes. And, syempre, pag, when it comes to one scale and above, doon na ako nag-custom pricing. Kasi, from my experience with clients, iba-iba ang gusto nila with those larger stuff. Yeah. So, I tend to price uh, by, by, by those, ano, by those things. And, yeah, I usually, sorry? I see a cat. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has, oh, he has yeah. a cat in the corner. Yeah, hello. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but uh, that's how I usually price things and how I usually uh, offer. Sometimes, uh, depends sa project. Let's say for example, ten Space Marines. Yeah, but we can, mm. so we can put it into perspective. Usually, I price Space Marines. Let's say kung table tap at around six hundred. Uh, mm. Okay, think. Okay, six hundred per model. Per ten. Ah, per model. Ah, per, mod- okay. per model. 600 per model. Then, ang turnover rate na, ang to- turnover nun is usually, kailan ba last na nakang Space Marines? That's like, what, two months? Or, kasi at that time, busy rin with university and, tas ano, nakadepende, ang nakadepende rin pala yung schedule or nakadepende rin yung turnaround time mm-hmm. kung may, t- kung for example, like, just recently, kakatapos na namin mag-defend ng, ano, mag-defend ng website namin. And, uh, uh, naging, naging, naging busy and uh, nata- natapos na yun, naging open naman na ulit yung schedule. So, yeah, doon na naka-base yung ano. Mm. Ikaw naman, Will. Uh, ikaw naman, Will. Uh, uh, how do you deal with clients? How do you price? Okay. Uh, okay. Sa client naman, I always tell the client na number one, it's, uh, kasi unlike before, I could I could rapidly build uh, in a very parang production line setup eh. uh, but now I always tell the client na mm-hmm. you ha- I, I I have a family na it's a very big factor right now because when you have kids it's like trying to juggle uh, 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 you know it's like trying to juggle all your jobs while uh, riding uh, uh, you know a unicycle, you know, going around. So, I, I would say, like I say, you know, like I said, I, on weekdays, I work from 8, uh, from 9 to 5.30. Paglabas ng 5.30, I go to the shop. So, once I get there, it's like around 6. I, I work from 6 to around 9 or 10. And sometimes if open, if, like for example, if my wife and the kids are having their vacation, I let go of the clock. I can stop at around 2 a.m., ganun, and then wake up 6 again and do my job at the bank in that manner. Pero, okay, uh, with regards to like building aircrafts for clients, I'll, I'll go back to Chris, because ah, he's like the, 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 the fleet guy. Mm-hmm. So... Sometimes I have to explain to him that there are delays. Because uh, if you're keeping to the clock, sometimes there are always like, parang, there's always that point that you need to take a break from the whole production. Like you have to give yourself a little air time. So sometimes I do take breaks. For example, if there's a built lag for Chris, I just 
give myself a break. For example, I build my own kits for get, for a few days, and then go back to his for the next few days. Because there, an in term natin, there's always that like parang artist block. So I need to do something else for that to to go back para mag momentum ulit. <coughs> so, uh, so production line setup ako eh. It's more of like I I assemble all the planes, all the parts. And then I always ask the client, for example, kay Chris, I always tell Chris, give me about like five months to build you like 10 jets, uh, 10 macros or five. Uh, but there's also another client. Uh, he's always like the person like, take your time. It's open. Okay. So, but he has a ton on the lineup. Ah. He has a ton on the lineup. That's why he tells me, take your time. So, uh, price range naman. Okay. Hindi pwede discreet lang yung price range. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. It could, I mean, we, no need to share, no need it, to could, it could be like double dollar sign or one dollar sign <laughs> or triple dollar sign. Pwede yeah, na yun. Like cheap, cheap mid-range, expensive. But yeah, okay lang. Yeah. So okay to share. Double yeah. dollar so, signs. <laughs> if for example na lang, um, uh, well, example na lang. I built uh, two. If it's a rush job, I get it. There's an example ko na lang. There's a client here in Bacolod who did, who did that before. Eh. Uh, he told he he had uh, two one thirty second scale uh, planes. So uh, you know, um, he wanted it done in a week. So. Louis, you're doing a Mr. Smith 109, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what scale is that? 48? I cannot recall the boxes upstairs, but I would assume okay. around that scale. Around that scale yeah, okay. So, imagine mine, 132nd. So, it's bigger. Yes. And then he wanted he wanted all the bits and pieces, like he wanted upgrades on it. So, it, imagine he wants done in a week. In a week, so seven days. Ah, build so, and time, paint. so build and paint. Oh. Seven, that's rough, buddy. Yeah. And then he sabi niya, and then he sabi niya, okay, I'll give you a week. Would you like an extension? I would say like, sige, sir, give me about, if you're really in a hurry because you're going back to the States with this and showing it to your kids, okay, uh, give me 10 days. Yeah. Sige, I won't, I won't disturb you in 10 days. Okay, sige. The yeah. next day, kamusta? <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> but I was able to do uh, a rush job on two of his Mr. Smiths uh, in 10 days. That was back in 2018. They 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 came he came to the house, picked it up. And the grin on his face, or that smile on his face, was the most memorable thing. Eh. We, and the smile on my face also, because he he paid me double. Because <laughs> I told yeah, him, sir. Because I told him, sir, if I, I told him like I'll be honest, if you want me to do this in the span of seven to ten days, and then dalawa sila, I won't. I'll I'll show you what I can do, but. You have to make sure that if I deliver this, you deliver me also the 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 amount. So much to my surprise, he he dropped down the cash before I was able to finish it. Eh. He sent me the advance already. Because what I do is I, I send him the pictures, I send him the updates na lang. Kasi inunahan ko na lang yung client. Eh. He's like, I won't disturb you, but kamusta the next day? Parang ganun. <laughs> so so I would send him the updates na lang. Uh, and then, uh, yun. I won't really mention the amount, but you know, it's it's a good sum. <laughs> uh, yun na lang. And then, uh, let's just say, ano lang. Okay, if I put it into terms, lang, uh, uh, you know, uh, I'll be, I'll put the price range. I'm actually not that expensive sa, compared to the other guys I know. Because eh. uh, I always, what do you say? 
I always second guess my work. I'm never a true believer <laughs> in my own work. Eh. <laughs> uh, kahit kahit ganon na. Um, my price range for a 30 second play in Seguro around four, four, four thousand. Well, that's not It, bad. Pero yun nga, it's it's not bad. Uh, to others, it's like, are you serious? Parang ganon. It's like you know, kahit <laughs> this you know, uh, it's 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 not it's not uh, an easy task to do, but you know, it's. For me, it's like helping in the hobby. It's like having fun na lang. Kahit, yeah. kahit ito, this is a 30-second scale P51 right now. So it's uh, it's uh, it's in silver na, but I still need to do the shadings pa. But this is a Doyosha kit. It's a very misaligned P51. <laughs> so I had to rescribe all the lines again to match the bottom and the top and then the panels dito they didn't match so they were like crooked and everything and then on the bottom it's the same so right now it's practically looking like a p51 na, with all the lines matching but you know in, internal also the the insides with the help of my cousin who's a very good scratch builder uh He helped me out with the interiors of uh, of the details on the Mustang, but you know this this is actually going to a client uh, locally. But uh, it will it will be displayed soon. Uh, it's going to be at at, uh, at a certain area, but I can't really say where and when. But it's going to be displayed soon, and then, uh, yun, uh what else? Hmm, ito. Back to the tank. With full interiors, because the Tiger here is a full interior tank. Actually, if you can pull out everything, eh, it's full interior. Oh, and so, oh, wow. with, with the client, naman, he wanted it. He wanted it something that he could play around with. Eh. So you can actually take out the cover of the turret. Uh, I can try to take this off. Yun. So you can take off the cover of the turret and show the Whoa, interiors. Nice. So the interiors can be seen, and then you can actually It take looks like off the actual the, real thing. You can, and then you can also take off the cover of the turret to show what's inside. Yeah. Same, uh, same thing with also the body of the tank, uh, the hull. So the hull can be taken off. Uh, there are two hard magnets inside, and then. Each panels can be opened pa dito also with the access. Uh, kasi may specific gusto yung client eh. He wants it displayed on a different uh, manner to his liking. So if he feels like I want to open the turret, go for it. Or he wants to show the interiors to his friends, ganun. So it's easy for him to open and everything. So this one actually... I'll just open up the price. The lah, it's I, it's still cheap for some. I yeah. started Actually, at six. Will it print? So, para I realized in the past few years, and dami na na propose na commission, and I'm just curious realizing it now. Do you have time to paint your own projects that you like? Oh. Do you have <laughs> trouble <laughs> juggling <laughs> that? Is it hard to do? I mean, no, I'm sure we will all aspire to be commission painters. It sounds fun, but I know a lot of commission painters leave because they realize they can't paint their stuff anymore. They can't actually, paint. I still do. Actually, project. I still do. Uh, remember Nationals? Mm. Uh, those are all. Uh, those, those are all freshly painted from 2023. Okay. So I still have time. But, like for example, like for example, yun sabi ko, I, if their planes are drying. Or if their kits are being, you know, on on drying sections, I try to squeeze in as much as I can of my kits uh-huh. to to build. And then if it's back to them, pero priority talaga yung client. Ours is just, you know, for us to take a break. Sometimes yun yung sabi ko. I I sometimes ask the client if I can like take a breather. So when I do that, it's more of like me building for me. Pero yun, uh, let's say 
in a percentage of squeezing it in, it's like parang 80% client, 20% mine. But I try to do as much as I can on those 20%. So, what you saw sa nationals uh, were actually all 2023 builds. So, the, that's how... What's the term sa ka, ng kasin ko? That's how... What's the term? It's like parang parang production line siya. So I, I keep moving. Ah, uh, yeah. I keep moving. Ah, uh, okay. Kaya yeah, pala sa mid table mo lagi maraming maraming project. <laughs> yeah, it's some it's not first, uh, some of them with the commissions. Yeah, and then it's the same time. I don't like working on a table that's not full. Mm. I I always I always feel good if it's like parang full siya. You know, I it's it's better to look at a full plate than a <laughs> an empty walang one or like walang, walang naman, naman. No. yeah I so, could agree with that kasi nakaka uh-huh. parang nakapaka daunting pag yung table mo empty it's like how how could I start this di ba or something yeah. it helps you have two projects at once kasi ayaw mo tunnel vision as much as possible into one project so you miss the mistakes eh if you only work into one it's better mm-hmm. to juggle two at a time or three at a time para you could have all new fresh eyes every single time you jump. Yeah. And you anyway. guys get hobby burnout also. You like the normal oh. person, like the normal hobbyist. Do you guys get that? Because if you juggle a lot, I must imagine you must get it faster than the normal hobbyist. Or if so, how do you guys deal that with, the, with your clients? You just text them like, Oh, bro, burnt out. Oh, did it die? Did it die? You just push it. Kumbaga, pilit. Mm, de- depende sa ano eh. Depende if the deadline is near. Pero kung meron pang parang leeway, kasi na- burnout is one hell of an enemy. Okay. Ano, How do you uh, call that? What's your longest burnout? Longest burnout was like two months of no painting. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, that's oh, like, oh, like oh, so uh, yeah, it took me a while to bounce back from it. Pero ano naman? But you had projects, you had pending projects with clients. Yeah, pero it's an open ano naman, so I have I had time to oh, rest it off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah, pero sometimes pag no choice talaga pag let's say deadline is like next week, I just push through it. As afternoon, it's like a long, it's like a rest of like three days. No painting okay. three days. Mm. Uh, do do other things. And because I saw someone in the comments, si Lucas was actually asking earlier in the chat. I yeah, earlier yeah. he was asking, why do people seem to get more? Yeah, that question. Ah, and yes. I and I feel like it's I a lot it. of inexperience. It happens to a lot of new commission painters that mm-hmm. don't have that experience. And also, yeah. there's a bit of luck into it. So, for example, uh-oh. kung nangyari, Prince, na may, may project ka na, na deadline bukas, tas na burnout ka, medyo hindi ka na serte doon. There's a lot of luck at play also, if you cannot push. I feel to be a commission painter like the two of you guys, it takes a certain type of hobby with a certain type of discipline to get the work done. I feel, ah, I think that's a lot of, that's something people underestimate when they become commission painters. Tingin nila, they think it's just a fun job. And it's not really a job job that yeah. you got to take yeah. serious. Like a sideline, they think it's a sideline, but... Pero... Yeah, they don't pero see ako... it as a professional thing. Because I have, would, for example, me, because I have experience employing, like, for example, commission painters, no? One of my rules yeah. in, with my painters is like, Okay, I know as an artist myself, burnout happens and mental health whatever it's i always want them to come clean if there's something like a problem and we could discuss a way to to parang uh let's say try to fix a problem or try to mitigate it as soon as possible for example someone something bad happened let's say family member caused the burnout i would usually discuss it with them like oh do you need extra time if so geto or let's 
mitigate sa pay na lang. Let's adjust the pay so that it would fit you or I could I pass this on na lang to another painter, quote and quote, and then whatever. Because there's also like that solution said. The reason why people said they think they could do it now, they would take it and then something bad happens that we yeah. don't want to experience. For example, pandemic happened. Ooh, that was a bad day for a lot of people. And I think it's also nice to put in mind that health uh, mental health matters and we should be aware to be forgiving. If it's a rush job and something important, then much better to come clean mm-hmm. na lang sa client or oh, give it to someone else or you can recommend it to someone else. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Uh, oh, it's, it's partially why it's partially why I stopped commission painting as well because like I realized I couldn't juggle it as much as I wanted to because I have my day job and then I also have yung Simply the stuff I want to paint, and I'm dealing with stuff people want me to paint as well. Yeah, there were times talaga na I really flubbed a bunch of my commissions in the past. Yeah, now I just don't take them anymore unless it's a very special request. So yeah. you know, I, I guess understand, understanding your own limits and you know setting up those boundaries, and more importantly, keeping those boundaries. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you're oh, if you're a viewer right now and you if you're not a commission painter or not aspiring to be a commission painter but plan to get a commission artist, you'll probably talk to a lot of them who are first time commission painters or don't have a lot of experience. I mean, it's very rare you get someone like Will or Prince. Ilan lang yung mga yan. So do yourself a favor and be thorough and ask questions. Deadline, yeah. what are your expectations, prices. Kasi magsisisi ka rin maghabol. I mean, especially no one has contracts. I don't think William and Prince, you guys have contracts. With you guys. <laughs> so, wala, di ba? Wala so, kayo, wala kayo yung, ano, terms and conditions. Kasi I, I, I just want to share some eh. experience. If we're all, we're I, all hobbyists, at the end of the day, we're all hobbyists talking to the hobbyists. So, just be careful, everyone, when yeah. doing this. Yeah, yeah so, I have to share, yeah. like, a little bit. Lang, kasi oh, how no. I also, like, because I'm also like commission, uh, I also do commission painting at times, but I really do it nowadays because we have people for that. Anyhow, um, <laughs> when you, you usually, because I always get this fudging question all the time, like, Kai, how do you price your printing? Let's say for, for printing, like, Kai, how do you price your printing? How, uh, how do you uh, price the time? Blah, 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 blah. So, usually, what we do is like time. Uh, Time times the cost per hour. So usually that's the best way. Even in artists, like digital artists, concept artists in the 2D world, also does the same math. Like if it takes me three hours to make this artwork or let's say this mini, I would uh, price it the same way as they. Like for example, Squidmore, that's how he prices his miniature paintings, like per hour. Siya. So let's say minimum wage per hour is 81 pesos. It's kind of low, but like that's how usually if I will paint a space marine takes me 10 hours 81 times 10 that's it and then put in factor the materials you cost to paint the thing and then uh, let's say electricity or uh, paints brushes and that's it that's how you usually guys paint your commission for you and newbie commissioners out there that wants to start just our material and that's it multiply them <laughs> And then, oh yeah, uh, Emmanuel also put terms and conditions. Uh, our website also has terms and conditions. So if you commission us, we will give you a link to our terms and conditions. For example, every work only ha- we don't take rush. If we do take rush, that's always fifty percent plus the actual price for rush. So for example, if let's say something happened during shipment, we have also warranties in part sa, I know it's better for commissioners to have like a Google Doc or I don't know a Twitter pin or an Instagram pin for your terms and conditions for example no not safe for work no pint up something like that or no color green weird request that you don't want to do part to save your mental health and your clients time and your time okay true 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 it's okay, nice alright uh, so um it's okay we actually have la- two last questions now before yeah. our stream ends. But before that, I think people have waited uh, enough. Let's. I think we should do another raffle. Here we go. Uh, yeah! Raffle! Okay, so, I have to um, sleep the thing again. 
yes, please open up the thing. So this time the around, thing. you guys, as we mentioned, uh, we'll be also raffling off some miniatures for you guys. So what minis are you we know? Doing? Yeah, nah. we have them right here, and this is courtesy of me. Uh, I want to give this out to people because uh, I feel like it's courtesy a courtesy of the backlog. The backlog. <laughs> so. No, it's not my backlog. <laughs> no, but okay. Guys, so it's just the, backlog. <laughs> no. So the miniature set that I'm giving out. Oh, is, okay. uh, oh wait. Let me let me uh, fix my. Uh, no. Let me fix. Fix my, the focus, man. Yeah, let me fix the. Uh, no. Yeah. Para makita nyo. Ayun. Yeah, legends. Go. So I'm legends giving out of the a set of miniatures. Reaper miniatures, a legend of the sands. So these are all old vintage pewter miniatures from way back then. And in fact, a couple of these are probably older than some than some of you guys, than some of the people watching the stream right now. Um, <laughs> these are from the company Reaper. So um, people who are into D and D, people who are into RPGs, Pathfinder. I'm pretty sure you've used the mga uh, metal miniatures ng Reaper in the past. So I'm giving out a uh, an entire set of them. No, this is actually given to me as a gift, but I felt like uh, it would be best in the hands of people who, um, you know, who would, be, who would uh, appreciate painting a bunch of these for their campaigns. So hence why I'm giving this out. So again, Legend of the Sand, uh, Legend of the Sands Reaper minis. These are all pewter, so these are all like metal miniatures. Just to show you guys, no, tanggalin na ita sa a little briefcase thing. So just to show you one of them, I guess. So here's like a Sultan person. If you can see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sultan Guys, it's out of production. No, tama ba, Josh? Out of production? No, it's still production. Uh, no, uh, they're they're actually still in production, but they're really old. Oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> so, feels OOP, but not really. So just as good. Uh -oh. <laughs> So, ayun, okay, so let's out. go. So, mahiwagang will natin, which we kind of forget last uh, last winner. Now, we have to show their shame because this is the point. Of ah, okay. So, we're going to show okay. two shames right now. So, let's roll okay. the wheel. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, congrats, Jay. Jay and Young. Okay, remove natin. Tapos, wait lang. I have to switch to the, I know, to the uh, shame tab. Okay, mm -hmm. can everyone see it? Hindi pa. Oh, wait. Uh, no. go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loading, loading. Yeah. Loading. Yeah. Okay. So, our, our first winner was Daniel. Tignan natin yung shame niya. Oh, Battletech! Oh, Battletech! Ang ina, Battletech. Gago, may putang D&D rin, no? Bakit may D&D dyan? Putang-putang. 3D, 3D. My favorite... Oh, 3D, Cthulhu. My favorite part of Battletech, Cthulhu. Are you saying just kids pa siya sa back? All level. They're all like the same fucking picture pa, eh, no? But I'm like, this is my game set. All different games together. D and D to, de ba? D and D to. Oh one. yeah, that's Nozers. That's Nozers. Oh shit! Oh, okay. oh yeah. Man, I swear, I n I've never, and this is this is less of a criticism of their backlog and more of a criticism of the minis themselves. But I have <laughs> never liked the stone bases. Nang ano? Yeah. Nang nol. Ang pangit. It doesn't look okay, like stone. Remember. It looks like yeah. it's a turd. It's like crap. It looks like stone. <laughs> 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 Shame on this person yeah, for yeah. buying dozers. They're having dozers. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Other dozers are shame. Shame. Right. Okay. <laughs> Next to Jay. Yeah. So, so, I guess. Uh, Daniel, Wait, not taking a shame in your part. I'm quoting the backlog. Yeah. Diana, put it in the backlog. Yeah, but. Oh, worm spot. Nurgle. Oh, yeah, no, Underworld girl. Are you an Underworld? Oh, I want... what is it? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Underworld. Yes. This is not yes. backlog. This is like pussy ass beginner shit. <laughs> 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 like, kind of, yeah. He did. 
Hindi to shame eh. Kasi like, you can finish this agad eh. Buti na lang, Josh is giving out miniatures para ma-back up yung backlog nila. We're backing up your backlog. So, congrats to me, Anyo. Sorry, can you open Jay's again? Can you open Jay's again? Sige, sige, sige. Wait lang. I just wanna... Ano ba? I want to point something out, and I want to, I want a grill games workshop for this, for this. All right. Mm. Okay. So, okay. Yung, yung, those three Nurgle miniatures, yung worms back. The, the, they're called What the worms. Yeah, like? no, yung tatlo, you know, one, two, Ito? and then no, 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 the one beside the blue. You know, ah, the, the, the ah. three Nurgle miniatures. Games Workshop, when the fuck are you going to re-release this? Because <laughs> <laughs> na benta ko nang yung Nurgle ko eh. Nabenta ko na and I still haven't gotten these. They only <laughs> released them once. They released them once for Underworlds and they never released them again. I don't get it. I don't care if their stats are shit, but they look nice and I wanted to paint them. <laughs> so, wala lang. Again, not really a not really a backlog criticism on you, Jay, but a criticism on Games Workshop. <laughs> so yeah. Yes. Yeah. Weird okay, shout, yeah, no? Yeah, <laughs> It, they do that from time to time, no? They like release a certain model or a certain figure, and then suddenly cut it off. Ooh. And then it's it's like also some Mac. Eh? They they release a certain model in Machine and Krieger, and then they stop mm-hmm. it. Then they build up a parang they build up the 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 want for that figure, and then boost it up again. Ibahin naman nila yung ano yung yung production name. So it's in a Uh-oh. different color scheme, but it's almost it's the same model. It's just a different color scheme. Yeah, yeah. They they did that. Kaya ano eh? When when GW uh, announced that they're doing the made to order metal miniatures, everyone was like, "Akala ko wala niyo metal miniatures. Akala ko na siran niyo mga molds niyo. Nope, they're still here, bitches." See. <laughs> <laughs> The marketing. Anyway. anyway, sorry. That's that. That's just my <coughs> rights. Anyway, moving on. Let's <laughs> move, move on to our last two questions here. Now. And uh, Louis okay. kind of touched on this na kanina. But um, <coughs> for you guys, as commission painters, as people who do this as a service, in the age of all of these new games coming in, you know, especially now that miniature painting and the accessibility towards miniatures is a lot greater than it was back then. Because we have new games coming in, old games are you know, becoming more popular as well, right? In this age of new games coming in or being more accessible, would you say that um, the commission painting game has been growing more? Or um, as an addendum to that, would you also prefer that people start painting their own stuff or kind of learn to paint as well as opposed to just commission uh, uh, hmm. kasi yeah. every ano eh it's there sa sobrang daming games ngayon marami marami rin miniature lines ang re-release I think yeah the the commission painting game is gr- is growing as evident na maraming maraming tayo mga artists na lumalabas halos weekly I think na nag-offer ng services sometimes uh, from for different ano and I've encountered some ano parang like it's, I've encountered some clients uh, to to follow yung sa isang question I've I, I have some clients na parang mga former painters and mm. then ano sila, parang ang ginagawa kasi nila before the, before I even accept the project, I go them into trying to paint it again. Mm. Then parang, parang ano, parang parang uh, just to get them back to the hobby. Pero sometimes talagang hindi kaya or you know, some certain circumstances arises. So yeah, that's why commission painters are here to fill the need for that. So yeah. It's 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 go, it's growing good uh, in terms of commission painting. Yeah. All right. How about you, Nemanuel? Okay. Uh, actually, that's a good point, kay Prince. Eh. Kay, because the reason why you also want the others to start painting their minis is to understand what we do. Eh. If it's <laughs> if they can do it, then they don't. Uh, then they 
then they can ask questions like, how do I improve this? Or if they can do it, but they don't have time to do it, then they understand why we price it as is. Uh, and then, or sometimes uh, the experience for them also, like for, okay yung point ni Prince eh. Kasi if you're already a modeler or a, a painter, and then you just want to get back into minis, pero you don't have the time, Mm. You let them try it for one or two figures, and then just you know get them the feel. But if they don't really feel like it, and they they really need your help, then that's the time we get into the picture. Uh, it's 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 uh it's fun to see people uh, or teach them how to to you know how to paint or how to build. Because it's it's a it's a nice thing to share uh, the experience. Eh? Kait yep. dito, it it starts small and then all of a sudden when you, na lang, I'll I'll shift it ah, and will not put it into the scale mo uh, scale model or miniature thing. Eh. I used to fly RC planes, so uh, if if I train you and then you become better than me, I'll clap. That's that's how I am. I'm not I'm not the one who like boos or loses that. Parang ganun. I I would rather see you improve uh, than rather just sob behind ganun I'd rather mm-hmm. want you to improve and be better than me than just to be parang left behind or questioning why did they even get into this parang ganun yeah. it's same same din sa scale, sa scale models eh. I don't I don't have much to uh, dito to teach but you know it's it's more of like how yung sa page ko if you look at it I sometimes share little uh, hint here and there, like if someone wants uh, to ask me, like what what to do, or for example, sa commission naman, I explain to them that sure it takes time. So if you want this, you try doing it, and then you get back to me if you tried it. I actually did that to one of the clients, eh, because he questioned the pricing, and then he got back to me, and then he said like, okay, <laughs> you can do this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> parang ganun. Parang parang like okay. you know if if you're questioning my price why ganun? Then okay, you try it. And then right. if ever you and then if ever you feel the need you need me or need us get back. You know, parang ganun. And then he comes back and like yeah. <laughs> yeah, now I understand. Parang ganun. It's like a reality check for them. Pero it's it's yeah. good. It's good. It's good to push the community like you know, uh, ganda nga eh, sa Manila, you have workshops, it's, you know, it's nice there. Uh, Yun. So, uh, that's how I would go. Would you, <laughs> what do you think that the hobby needs more commission painters? Or, sobra-sobra na? Or saturated. Super. Okay. <laughs> Good kasi marami. <laughs> and, and, hindi, kasi, no, no, actually, kahit ako, I, when I got into the industry of commissions, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna touch bases with people I know who are already working with other people. Eh. I don't, I, uh, especially with the military builds, I'd rather, I'd rather have that commissioner say like, "Oi, I need, I need your help. Can you help me with this client?" Then that's the time I'll, I'll do that. But if say like, I go to someone and say like. Commission ba siya sa iyo? Can I do one also for you? Parang ganun. I, I, I don't have the guts to do that. <laughs> I have, parang I'd, I'd rather sit it out and just wait it out na lang. Uh, kasi in 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 the Philippines alone, as far as I've seen, there there are a lot of commission builders who are really, you know, I'm I'm totally hands down to them. Kasi they they're in this industry more than than I was. So. You know, for for me to see their works is always like inspiration, talaga. So you know, mm. yeah. Cool. cool. Uh, yeah. All right. Again. So, um, Louis, why don't you ask our last question? Um, sure. Because uh, we also thought about this question because I uh, we also feel there's a lot of commission painters out there. And as much as we want to be supportive of everyone, we also want to sort of uh, be uh, reminded to everyone on how we should be in the hobby. Because we're all, whatever we do contributes. Eh? If you're a good commission painter, it contributes to the Philippine hobby. If you're a bad client, 
and vice versa. So I want to know from the two of you guys, what are the best practices to manage client expectations? Or you can also view it as how would you advise customers to approach commission painters? Especially if ah. first time commission painters. Sila. What's the best? Ano yung dapat kong tanungin bilang customer? And ano dapat kong i-expect sa'yo as a commission painter? Para at least people watching will know how to ask better questions or how to expect output or how to secure ah. their work. Because we all know it happens at some times, uh, whether or not if it's the fault of the client or the commission painter. But of course, it's important on the first approach. So two ways of answering that. What's the best? How would you, as a commission painter, manage clients' expectations? Or what advice can you give to a potential client to ask? Ayan, parang yung si tanong ni Gray Chief. Medyo mahirap. So... Si Pinto muna. <laughs> ah. uh, sorry, si, si Dana muna? Ah, wait. Si Prince. Si, okay. Si Prince, si Prince, si Prince. Prince, Prince. Okay, so, two things, no? Parang managing client expectations starting out and for the clients, anong kailangan, parang, anong, parang pwede nilang tanungin, no? Okay, yes. so, starting out, if you want to be a commission painter, siguro you can make a basic pricing muna. Or parang you can ask around actually. Most of the commission painters that I've talked to, they are very open naman with their pricing and how it works. So you can you can ask, ask, ask around and you can base it off of that. Para may idea ka on what route they want to go to. Do you want to go the hourly rate? Parang yung kay, yung, yung kay Kaizen. Or do you want to go the... Uh, Di parang yung sa akin yung parang yung quality yung per quality rate which is like table top uh, table top plus quality eh, display etc. Uh, kasi as time goes by you can increase the uh, you can gain experience at the same time uh, you can increase your price rin uh, based doon sa experience mo. Or pag yung economy is going down to the, to the uh, going down and kailangan mong taasan yung prices mo well that's that's ganda na yeah. And as time goes by na malalaman mo kung kung ano ang market mo. Uh, malalaman mo kung parang sa saan ka saan ka mas compatible na, na parang community for example, mas better ka sa DND or mas better ka sa military figures or sa ano, sa aircraft or something like that. Then as for ano, in your few months, wag ka mag-overload as much as possible even though you think you can. Kasi that is the quickest route to burnout. <laughs> that is like the that is that, that is your death sentence basically. Um <clears throat> uh, pero kasi tayo mga limits syempre and burnout is the number one enemy kasi kakain niya ng oras, kakain niya ng willpower mo as a painter. Para it will make you question am I fit for this? So please uh, uh, kung sa mga starting diyan, huwag kayong mag-overload. It's a bad idea. No. Ramdam ko yan, ramdam ko yan. Tapos kung uh, well, if you're not, if you're struggling with burnouts naman, what you can do is just stop painting. Uh, kasi once you get tired of painting, you won't think it's fun anymore. That's the that's, that's sometimes that's the point of, of of the hobby. Why do we love to paint? Because it's fun. If you take out the fun, you you won't have any you know, you won't have any uh, willpower to to push through. Uh, you can you can you can do other things like you can walk, you can touch grass, uh, you you can play games, you can, you can play games, wow. or just do touch do any grass. other hobby besides painting. Para hindi ka mahirapan uh, in the long run. Uh, Paano ba video game video game ka ng isang buwan? Magawa ka na mga nagerebe ka na mga video game. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. or, or Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate ka. I tried running Baldur's Gate sa laptop ko. Hindi kaya. <laughs> oh, mabigat siya. Mabigat siya. Pero the, I, I, I had to... For, 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 the, for the moment that you play Baldur's Gate, wala ka ng buhay. <laughs> Yun ang naging buhay mo. Parts, ang ganda. I want to play it like in a better system siguro. Pero I've tried it. It's it's very good. Doon pa lang sa may... Ano, yan doon pa lang sa may ship. It was good. Ah, then, Prince, this is a sign na commission ka pa para makabili ka ng laptop. 
Exactly. <laughs> akala ko, ko you're going to say, akala ko you're going to say, I can't run Baldur's Gate on my Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if only. Pero, yeah. Paano yan, Prince? If, yeah, sorry. Prince, paano yan? If, di ba, you advise touch grass? Paano yun kung tayo mga miniature painters, lalo na, di ba? Of course, may grass tayo, may tufts tayo. Diyan, pag na-touch na, okay na ba? <laughs> hindi ba yung counted? <laughs> hindi ko. Ano ano ba yung technique ng hobby related pa rin yun eh. So do something outside the hobby is what ano parang kasi the moment you parang get ano you get a you get a parang refresh a re- refresh view of things you will get the steam to function. Yeah. Uh, actually wait uh, a portfolio. Yeah, uh, isa rin a portfolio ready definitely helps a lot para makita ng client and uh, this is actually nice uh, from uh, Sir Emmanuel I like that um, nice one nice one yeah, good pag, advice pag ready na yung portfolio you can show the client what you can do so yeah para ano na yeah para may that ano. is true kahit sa <laughs> art world like I'm not saying you should do this but <laughs> when I used to work for studio and I hire you know people Wala kami pakialam sa diploma. As long as you show me a portfolio, what you have done, how mm. you have done it, hard ka na. That's the baby. But college is still important, guys. Okay? It's just, just, just out there information. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I guess the main point kasi is most of our clients will not, will be people outside of the hobby. So they will not exactly know what tabletop standard means. Yeah. Tabletop. Yeah. Plus, tayo na kayo nun. Yeah. So it's it will visual. be nice to, Yeah, yeah, this one. Mm. Do you want option one, option two, option three? Do you want big, small? Yeah, that's a good mm. advice also to keep in mind. Mm-mm. Or gusto mo lang so, extra about, service, you know, ganon. Yeah, oh. extra. You go to win. Gusto mo lang free hands. Advice to first-time clients. Okay, okay. For, first time, for first-time clients. Oh, yeah, sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. So for first time clients, I think it will help a lot actually. If you, ano, uh, if you show us uh, commission painters what you want what you want the finish to be. Kasi the doon kami magka doon kami magka ng visual uh, what you want. Uh, sometimes kasi it, it, it's hard guessing. Uh baka kasi you, the client wouldn't like it or something like that. So yeah. you can show us and of course syempre you can ask us about uh Kailan ba matapos to? What's the timetable for this? Or uh, what's the pricing? You can you can also question us about the price so we can give you a breakdown on how, how we priced it in the first place. Kasi there's a as uh, Kaizen said earlier, there's a lot of things that 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 goes on behind the scenes. Electricity, uh, yung food ng kla, yung, yung food ng commissioner, syempre. Uh, the paints, uh-huh. paints are expensive, huh? They are not cheap. Uh-huh. <laughs> They are not cheap. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. The brushes are not cheap. Ang isang Kolinsky brush is like 500. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's right. You order now, John. <laughs> Sige, guys. Plug mo pa. Plug mo pa. <laughs> We order now. <laughs> so, no, come, yeah. Come. I think, that's ano, true. That's the, yeah, ano, for, for clients. And of course, uh, for clients, so then, uh, just communicate with us with what you want talaga. Like, do you have a specific free hands na gusto mo ipagawa? may specific ka mang basing na gusto ipagawa. Just, ano, we're, we're open naman, ano, to, mm. to talk about that. And, wait, what's this? Uh, <laughs> guys, sa sabay na. Yes. <laughs> yes, join <laughs> Philippine Talents. Yeah, join. Yeah. <laughs> that's her, yeah, yeah. join na kayo. Kahit accidental yun yeah. na hindi. Honestly, that's like, that's also, going back to the whole, you know, people need to learn how to paint as well. Um, uh-huh. It's also important because, like, otherwise, you're not really gonna know the finished product. You're not gonna really know what techniques you want to be in your model yeah. as, you know, as, as a client. So, uh-uh. you know, check paint. You know, it's so easy to get into painting now. Um, yeah. Super lots of free easy. Lots you can look at. So, definitely, yeah. Enjoy Philippine Tados because we're the community. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there's like... <laughs> There's so many tados to sharing their how they work. For example, uh, Louis also a YouTuber who shares the hobby and how to mm-hmm. paint as well. I as well, Josh as well, right? So very easy to know. Yeah. Isang Google lang yan. And that's yeah. that's hopefully what we're gonna be doing more of 
you know next year you know featuring more artists here because yeah. yeah you know I want I want different perspectives different you know different uh, opinions how to do things so okay sorry real quick let's move on naman to Will ikaw naman sir okay advice okay advice to clients uh well it's good to be open eh. it's it's always good to tell what you're expecting because it's us it, on my end it's me adjusting to them eh. uh, if they want it to their liking I'll adjust to what they want but I will always tell them that can I do this a bit but you know uh, for first time clients it's always like it's a yun nga, I always have a portfolio that's why at the end of the year I always post my portfolio fo- uh, album sa page ko or in case I like when I meet a client face to face, I have an album of what I work on. Or sometimes mabuti, I bring them to where I have my kits built. So uh, right behind me, that's a glass cab full of kits that I built. So you know, uh, I show them, and then explain to them the steps of what I do. Uh, mm-hmm. And then you know, basically, it's like. Uh, you know, I, I want them to be comfortable also. And then, okay, when the time duration comes a month, uh, time duration, I always, I'm always frank with my clients. I, I always tell them, like, before I, uh, yun, I found the word, Josh, prolific. Yun. Oh. Uh, prolific. <laughs> yes. That before, prolific. Ka. Pero now, since you have priorities now on the side, you have especially important priorities. Your family is always number one. So, you know, I, I, I always tell them that I have to find. I have. I only set this much time for the builds now. I have to go home to the kids at this time, so I can still watch them before they sleep, or I can play before they sleep. And then, uh, what else? Um, uh, with the, with the, what, um. Yung sa, sa time, uh, again, again, uh, again, we'll put back sa duration. And I will always tell the clients that it's not an easy task to build a model for you. Uh, it's it's always a challenge. Every time you, every time I build a kit, it's always a new challenge. Eh? So I always tell them that the pricing is going to be this. I'll show you the portfolio. I'll show you all the details I did for this guy. And here's the price of what I did for him. And if he likes it, we shake hands on it. If he doesn't, I'll tell him like, okay, um, no problem. Uh, there's always a lot of guys there to go to. And I would always recommend, actually, I recommend others. Eh? I always say names of others, okay, you know. Because I don't want him to go out uh, into the world like going to a certain person who wouldn't finish it or who wouldn't uh, deliver right away. I want him to make sure that uh, if he goes to this other guy, this guy is good, parang ganun, I'll tell him. And then, if ever he does come back to me, it's either a thank you or, oi, can I have one built? Parang ganun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that would be Solid. it for me. I think also, okay. like, just to share, no, we're all, actually all of us here, we have our fair share of commission painting and we talk about this outside the stream. <clears throat> I think for both clients and commission painters, it's nice to keep in mind that triangle everyone talks about. And you guys are... Oh, yeah. Time, money. Ah, time, yeah. money, yeah. and quality. quality. You, yeah, yeah. You, you'll never Uh-oh. really have a perfect triangle. So you'll never have yeah. the ideal time, the ideal money spent, and quality output. <clears throat> so, parang, mamili ka. Yeah, yeah, that would be correct. Parang, you have to choose... Um, out of the three, out of the three, alam yung siguro you have to give up one or make one the least the priority. Um, if you want fast, make it add more cash just to keep the quality. But if you're yeah. willing to get it fast, fast and then go up the quality, you can do that. And that's a good practice if you're a commission painter to introduce that triangle to them, or if you're a client and you you're talking to a commission painter na medyo bago, you can introduce that, that triangle to them. But you yeah. can also help police each other when you guys are talking about expectations. But that, that's my advice no, for, for everyone. I'm sure T Prince will do that on, on instinctively, actually. But you? 
Right. Uh, tap, tap, someone messaged in the comments. See, si Marites says, uh, ethics is important. Yeah. I'm very good. Yeah. 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 True. True. Yeah. Definitely. Because you're dealing yeah. with people. Yeah. Yeah. Both clients and the commission painters themselves are people. So, lot ng lot ng frames of people. Everyone experiences that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I guess it's hard though. You have to be you have to be honest. I, I know in a lot of cases, pati ako, marami ang commissions na hindi ko nagawa on time or na miss. But it's better to tell your client that you failed or could not meet it than instead of ghosting them. Kasi we've had so many instances na pag nag-ghost, napupunta sa aming admin eh. So we know. So, oh, saying, so we know, yeah. We don't uh, police, FYI. We're not the people to go to for these things. But the point I'm coming across is people talk. It's it's better that you as the commission painter tell the client than your friends talking about you. Ang, yeah. yeah. Lalo na maraming marites sa Pilipintados. Ayan, si marites. That's, that's the thing we always try to avoid. Sipsty! <laughs> Kasi diba, we're always clocking on a deadline. So if ever we do miss a deadline, ako, ako, I'll, I'll be honest, I'll, I've, uh, I've always missed a deadline about a month or two. Kasi, oh. uh, not always, ah, sorry. Not always pala. Not always. Like, uh, kasi, you know, when you're, like what, what uh, Prince said, there's always that point of burnout. But, and then, uh, you, you. I'll always tell the client. I have no excuses. I, I kind of hit the wall, but you know, I'm not making that an excuse. I'm sorry, but you know, if you feel that I miss the deadline, and then if ever I uh, may have uh, adjusted the time to to finish everything, it's up to you if you want me as a commission painter again or not. So far, uh, so far, so far, knocking on wood. Is there wood? Uh, anyways, it's knocking on wood. <laughs> it's 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 good to be. You know, it, sometimes you have to 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 be honest with them that uh, I can't deliver this right now because again, it's a situation. But you never make the situation an excuse. Parang ganun, If it's not, you don't make the situation as an excuse. But it's more of like, uh, can we adjust na lang? Ganun. I know it's. We talked about this. Ganito. But all right. Uh, I, I want to make sure that at the same time on my end, I'm not going to pressure myself you know, to deliver right away something that's not going to make you happy. Uh, and then, yeah, back to what Prince said. Uh, medyo kanina, I was like laughing. I'm that type of person who likes to haggle a lot of commissions. Eh. <laughs> uh, it, it keeps me busy. I'd rather be busy than be parang Lacks. I I always I always try to find something to keep me busy. That's all. Which is snipping plastic and building a kit, which is a good thing for me. I always want because if I get distracted by the little things, uh, it happened actually during the pandemic. because uh, when your client leaves your kit and then he actually lay low for the pandemic. You get distracted by a lot of, a lot of things, so yeah. the backlog builds up, and then by the time the pandemic is over, and then he tells you, "Okay, can I pick them up?" Oh shit! <laughs> the panic starts. <laughs> parang so, yeah, panic where starts was that? Sure. Kabado bente. Parang gano, Parang like, where did I put that kit? Uh, ah, there. <laughs> parang yeah. gano, it's like, So I don't. I. I that's why I, I kind of learned a lot from. Uh, two specific clients. Na I'd rather be ready to deliver than make you wait longer and then give you something bad. Which is, I made them wait longer but didn't give them something bad. I mean, like I delivered. It's it's just that on that specific date, I had to adjust because of a couple of hiccups. But I always tell the client, I am not making this an excuse. I am sorry. And then, you know, the line again if you want me to commission then it's okay if not I respectfully uh you know acknowledge your uh decision but so far so far it's 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 been working you know uh it's always 
ano yung term ko para for the first time be reliable na lang <laughs> that's 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 the that's the right word to be ano eh, be reliable and then if, especially with your first time commissioning uh always uh ano uh always be honest to your clients na if kaya mo or hindi Because if you say mm-hmm. that I am, and then in the end you deliver something that you're not supposed to deliver, it's 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 a bad rep at the beginning, palang. Mm-hmm. So you know, try to work in the comfort zone, muna. And then if you feel like you can start to venture out, uh, you know, try it out, ganon. Pero always, you know, basic, basic, talaga with the back, uh, with the with the you know, with the ethics of working with a client it's always the main role ko palagi for the clients is always make them smile make them happy so if it's your first time make sure your first time is a good experience for the client not like oh shit <laughs> parang <laughs> yeah. they don't want the oh shit moment <laughs> Ako may side, may side note ako dyan eh. Ako, I, I would always do small talk with my clients. Because if you do small talk, like ch- letting them know la, how they are, it actually boosts morale to them. Oh. And they would trust you even more for further projects. Because small talk helps, guys. It's just people just need a little talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Diba? The little yeah, like for example. You know, even though like oh, for example may earthquake like oh sir are you okay okay lang ba kayo don't worry your figure is That's, fine yeah. nothing mm-hmm. fell off parang ganun yeah. it helps it really boosts it, morale it, to you it's as not well like, yes sir your model's okay it's not like my shell <laughs> crumbled <in. laughs> no, oh yeah it does what's that? Try, akong... what's that you have a uh, ten, you have a you have a 50,000 peso titan from Forge World? <laughs> underneath my cabinet? No! <laughs> Sana hindi mangyari, but yeah, uh, meron na akong uh, knock on wood. Meron na akong like a little side note as well. Like, so mga commissioners there and us artists, having something like a comfort food or a comfort item helps. It really does. So, if, if for me it's a Kit Kat, I like having Kit Kats on my table. I love Kit Kats. Or like, for example, like pictures of you know my family in my workbench. It it really helps. It really helps, comfort guys. Item. Put inspiration. Yeah. Comfort, comfort item. Comfort item. <laughs> oh, the coin. The coin. The coin. Anyway, all right. Well, I, I, uh, we want to thank you guys so much for, you know, sharing your expertise and sharing yes. a bit about yourself or a lot about yourself mm-hmm. when it comes to commission See. painting. You know, very, it's very, you know, uh, it's great to hear um, very candid uh, comments and observations, especially with the experience you guys have. So, uh, and hopefully this is important uh, well enough to our uh, viewers. Natin. Uh, who are interested in commission can, painting or you know, want to get into it as well. Can I can I answer a couple of questions on yeah, the call? Sure, yes, yeah. oh, sure, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Mr. Oh, Great the Great Chief is asking <laughs> what airbrush I'm using. Eh. Uh, to be honest, I'm I'm using a uh, Chiwata. Chinese Chiwata. In short, made in China. I don't buy... I don't, I don't yeah. use the expensive ones. I can't afford it. Seriously, I... I have been in the hobby for like what Louis said seven years, and I've always used a nebulizer. Uh, the the nebulizer, what? the one for the you know uh, for the May asthma. Asthma? asthma. Yeah, it works actually. It works. It, yeah, it works. <laughs> I just I just use. To... It's a very expensive air compressor. Yes, it works. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's something. Yeah. I use a nebulizer, and then because uh, it's the, the same threads. Saman din eh. I mean, the threads have their, di ba? They have measurements like one eight, one four. It's the same thing in every, even pipes. And I know it's it works actually. Okay. And and then I use uh for the air for, for the water catch or the filters. Uh, a friend of mine taught me using uh, uh motorcycle fuel filters. So they catch oh, the, the fuel filter. 
you have to post those two things, the nebulizer and the motorcycle thing. Post a picture. I'll, I'll try to and... take a picture, sir. Shab. I'll try to yeah, take a picture of the nebulizer and the, the, the filter. And then the air bubble. Just... Oh, <laughs> 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 well, the air bubble. The American and the nebulizer. Guys, guys, how much nebulizer? I always wanted to buy the Iwata or, you know, the, the Harden Steinbeck or something like that. But. You know, seeing the price and the number of zeros behind them is like scary. <laughs> Dropping them is scary. Yep. You know, yeah, it's a needle but the bend mo pa. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you you drop you drop a KK moon, it's like parang oh okay. okay. There you go. 100, to the table. Oh, parang 100 pesos lang yung needle tsaka yung and tip, then, right? Uh yeah. and then what else? Uh brushes, <clears throat> nail art. Yeah. I'm still using the nail art brushes that my girlfriend got me seven uh, years ago. See? Yeah. <laughs> yung sayo, kasi Josh, may baby time na kasama eh. May <laughs> lab. Okay, yan yung, yan yung ano eh. For us, it doesn't work that way, okay? Wait, hold on. We weren't dating <laughs> seven years ago, okay? So, <laughs> so it was up. bound to happen. Shut up, okay? Your girlfriend <laughs> knew she what she was doing. She was planting. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Uh, what else? There's, a, there's, you know, the, actually these are, you know, it's it's nice to converse with the. I said this is the first time I I tried this and, and depending results, they do batch painting. Um, someone yeah, actually the, Someone asked in the comments, um, what is your advice for provincial, uh, oh, yeah. painters? Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, hindi ko kasi sure kung paano yung sa, sa yung sa scene in terms of provinces pero i think it it apply the, the same things apply pero siguro make it make it clear na lalo pag nasa malayo yung ano mo nasa malayo yung client mo na it will take time tas yung sa shipping pa uh, hindi kasi siya kasi dali dito sa Metro Manila na ano hindi siya kasi dali sa Metro Manila na lala move lala move lang uh, kasi LBC and uh, JNT is a different animal Kasi they usually handle they, they usually handle miniatures like crap <laughs> to the point that oh, yeah. ma, pag pagdating basag-basag na so yeah siguro more na lang eh parang the same thing supply uh, as from earlier pero the yung distance yung sa distance kasi is uh, clear top and yung sa shipping din extra safety dun sa ano dun sa yeah. dun sa boxes kasi sa box uh, JNT especially will will wreck that. <laughs> that, that is kind of true. Sa, sa akin si Flash eh. Pero like, ako meron ako advice for provincial painters. No? Kasi kami ni Sir Will, uh, parehas kami ng probinsya. Ayan, Bacolod! Mayang gabi sa inyo tanan. Um, Maginasal! 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 <laughs> Yeah, cause I grew up in uh, Bacolod and then Iloilo. Um, na yon, marami tayong careers eh. There's GoGo Express, Parcel PH, and Gcash. So those are like, for example, if we know JT is crap, and so as the Shopee, the Shopee <laughs> Express checkout. Yeah. <laughs> may meron ng Parcel PH guys sa Gcash. May GoGo Express app na nagtiwalig na sa sa, G, sa Shopee kasi di sock, which is good job for them. <laughs> Ninja Van is also has their own app. Um, to go express also has cheaper rates for provincial shipping. So mm, okay. many ways to ship, guys. Many many ways to ship. Yeah. Na. It's more of like packaging them. Because I, I, because my clients are outside. Uh, other than Bacolod or Iloilo, there's there's clients outside also. So I ship them out. It's more of because I my trusted courier here is Libcap. Mm. Libcap, uh, and then. Uh, it's more of like packaging. Eh. It's making sure that the hindi aalong yung mga ano, yung mga gamit sa loob, especially with the tanks. Kasi, mm-hmm. di ba, as I've shown you before, the tanks can be opened all hatches, yeah. all parts. So, <coughs> trying to design or making the supports for it to stay as is when it arrives to the client uh, is is an important thing. 
Kasi you don't want it to arrive kit form ulit eh. You want the client to open a box, there's a whole tank, not a kit. You know, you don't want parts. <laughs> yeah. Know? Or, or kahit sa aircraft. The, I, I've learned a lot from a lot of modelers on IPMS uh, Bertanito of how they pack their stuff. And, you know, uh, one person who always helped me out with the packaging is No Noise Urbanics. He's one of the best builders there. And he won, he's also a very good teacher of packaging your stuff. He, he builds a uh, great aircraft, hands down talaga, kay no noy. And then, and then the way he nice. teaches nice. you how to how to pack your uh, items in the box with all the supports, uh, he's uh, he's very good at that. So you know, he showed me a couple oh, of designs. Okay. How, yeah, he showed me a couple of designs using foam board, and that's. That's basically how you, I package the, the stuff right now. Before, I used to make partitions on the boxes and then fill it up with a lot of foam. Now it's more of like, now it's more of like small but secured boxes now. So I can ship it small, but at the same time, if they throw it around, it comes back. It goes to the client, you know, alive and well. Because <laughs> Diba, meron pa yun silang technique na tinuturo nun na you put polyfill. Yan yung nilalagay sa pillows, guys. It actually works. Yan yung ginagawa nilang parang stuffing in spaces. Para if uh, maayog. Yung, yung peanuts? <clears throat> hindi, hindi, hindi. Yung polyfill. Wala tayong peanuts sa Pilipinas. Yung polyfill. Yung nilalagay sa unan para maging unan. Uh, okay. <laughs> yung puti. Uh, it actually okay. works. Oh, okay. I, I know what yeah, you're talking about. Yeah, kasi you can buy it for like <laughs> one kilo for 50 yeah. pet. No, you can buy it in Shopee for 50 pesos a kilo, and that's a lot. A kilo is a lot. What, 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 bro? You're getting cutting off there. Like it's bit. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you can break it apart and you can stick it back all together. Because it's our common thing in Agon, like polyfill, para hindi ma ano yung figure. Kilogram. Because you can mold it, eh. I think that's learned. That's very, that's very, uh, it's very helpful, especially for people who plan to compete abroad. The mga, ano, yeah. the mga, like, like the, the, the one in Malaysia. Yeah, the Malcolm. The, the Malcolm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yung ano, actually, the one I saw was kay yung kay Carl Noala na ginawa. Yung, yung packing mm. of how he fit up all the planes and the, all his entries in that box was amazing. Uh, mm. And then, what else? Yung sa, ano, uh, actually, diba, it's the first time I went to Nationals last, uh, this year, diba? I always pack my stuff in a huge box. <laughs> so I always send them out in separate boxes sa loob, may isang malaking box. And, but I use Ceres. I I, I use a bus uh, Bus to Ceres. Ship. Yes, Ceres mm-hmm. to, to carry them to the venue or have them picked up on their bus terminal. So that's extra handling actually that's why i had to go to nationals just to experience traveling with my entries it's a good experience i mean like meeting everyone louis especially because it's louis and i have it outside. bet you will jeez we've been talking for so long <laughs> yeah so yun, uh, uh, yun, diba? so it's more of like when we ship out our items it's packaging eh. yeah. It's always securing the items, uh, like what Kaisen said. Provincial or provincial kami, so the handling is really bad. Sometimes here on our, on our end, it's like being just thrown around. So we had to make we have to make sure. Because miniatures actually are also high risk. Because eh? you get scratches on the paint, so that's really bad. Yeah. So how much more if it's a huge plane or a tank or diorama? getting damaged just going to the owner it's, it's mm-hmm. bad okay, ipagbubukan nyo na lang sa career kaya na yung only solution wala, wala eh. <laughs> I, example ko na lang example ko na lang I, I won't mention the career kasi sensitive yun but I'm and it's been a year since I filed the complaint to a broken item eh. buti na lang may insurance siya pero until now I can't claim the insurance it's still under ah, investigation that's that's some yeah, that's one bogus. I have also insurance of FedEx and one of what well, there's one time na yung FedEx 
actually destroyed my packaging and some lost parcels. It cost around two thousand dollars. I am still on pending. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. That's a lot of money. Well, That's a lot of money. But yeah. At least, Policy in a store I mean, anything lost is replaced. Send again. At, at least in a at least it didn't fall into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Baka na cast away siya. You know? You'll never know. So okay guys, we already spent two hours na. So let's do our final ano na, final oh, raffle. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So uh yeah, let's uh Kaizen do the honors. Do the honors. This is gonna be the most legendary of all items. The King Su Ham. My buddy. The Christmas, Christmas special. special. Yes. Thank okay, you, King wait. Su Ham. Before we do before 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 anything else, uh I think Sanabi Kusagi Kanina Kaizen, we have a uh bit of a disclaimer, you guys. This is from our representative from King Su. Um, <coughs> so because of a bit of a problem, no. Uh, this ham will not be distributed. Unfortunately, it's not going to be available for Christmas. Mm-hmm. So, um, according to yung yung sinabi sa akin, uh, the raffle price will be given out January four and onwards. Uh, oh, okay. So he's, he's out of the country, kasi. So um, you're still gonna get your ham, but it's gonna be a bit later. Uh, Post holidays. So, okay. Yeah, but at least so, you know you get ham, so that's what's yeah, important. Yeah, ham is ham. <laughs> ham, ham, is ham. ham is ham. So there's gonna be two winners for this because the last is uh, the perfect. <laughs> so we have two hams. Two winners. Two hams. Okay, let's go for the first ham. For the first time. Oh, 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 Guys, I want to make an admin. Um, goodbye. Oh, I am. Goodbye. Congrats. This is like the best time to win Christmas. I'm not shit. Congrats, Alexis. Silwin. So, yeah, think that I'm. Tignan na lang natin yung kanilang shame. Dito na lang ako babawi. This better be real oh, backlog, guys. Ah. Puta ka rin. Mga backlog ka rin. Oh, eh. Parang... This needs to be backlog. Yeah. Oh, wait. True, wait true, lang. true. Like the wait, guy who well... bought so many Kickstarters. <laughs> wait lang. So, kasi nawawala yung drive natin for some reason. Oh, there you go. Okay, it's on. Uh... Okay, so the first ah, one okay, was Miguel. Natin, ah. Oh, of course, dapat lang. Gusto ko na Christmas eh. Wala si Mars na lagay na Christmas. So, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so first is Miguel. Let's see. He has three Ayan, photos. Ayan, yeah, si Miguel should have a reputable. Yeah, oh, wow, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ba, like, <laughs> wow, ang daming tables. Pero kung ano pinipin ka naman, no, pare, putang na, print mo lang lahat, eh. Kahit isang base coat man lang, no. Alam mo, may isang, prime. Alam mo, in fairness, ha. In oh. fairness, gra- grabe si, ano, gra- grabe si, uh, Miguel, kung mag-3D print. Miguel. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, 3D shit. printed army, what? You can play with a 3D printed army, ba? No, no, no. That's, that's uh, I believe, because that's, uh, that's Compass, eh. I, I, I know, no, no, it's not, it's not. It's not, sorry, sorry. But the base is... But the, the square base, base is deceiving. Is that like the Path of Kings, man? Or War of Kings, or something like that? Kings of, of War. King? Kings of War. Kings of War. Uh, Kings of War, yun. Yeah, Kings of War is you know, uh, miniature agnostic. I think, I think. Although I will ah, say, yeah, I, I, I will say props to ano, props to Miguel. Because I'm not sure if you guys have seen it, but Chai nagprint ng um L, yung MRT. 
MRT terrain. Ah, okay. Oh, shit, ba yun? That was him. Dude, uh, man. I see that all the time and I laugh every time I see that. I was like, bro, shit. Bro, we got, to, we got to throw the train. We got to throw <laughs> fucking... We got to throw fucking Henlin. This is this is Arios from League of Legends, and I think this is I know some characters. Ano <laughs> si Akali is this yan. one. I think. Ano tanga na binebenta mo ba yung bro? Ano tanga? Nami yo. Backlog, backlog ba to o for sale? <laughs> <laughs> Dami. Tapos yung next natin si Alexis. Alexis. Medyo salty ako, medyo salty ako dito. <laughs> <laughs> salty ako. Ito, ito picture lang. It's better be good for one picture. Sus. Uy. Sus. Uy. Although this is more Do like a uh, like, uh, like, like, Is this be the man? Oh, this bro. Is this Those be the man? I think God. it is. Those are old. No, 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 no. Those are old. Those are old. SD. Those are old SD Gundams. SD oh, BB Senshi. SD. Wow. BB Senshi. Why not? 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 I, I want yeah, to take a part. Take a part. Wait, wait. Peace. So let's see what we have. Yeah, yeah. You missed it. Gundam sa ilalim mo. Beyblade to. Beyblade ba? Beyblade. 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 Shit, ano pangalan nun? Not Life Man, man. not Dynaman. Denji Man! Oh my god! Denji Man! Oh, yoga! Denji Man! 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 Denji They're old kids, pero bakit hindi pa buo? Huh? Oo oh, nga, eh. Tangin na. <laughs> oh. Either super weeaboo siya or... Early 2000s mga kids na yan, eh. Oo, oh, wala. Oh, By second hand lang yan. Flex na yan. Flex <laughs> lang siguro yan. 350 okay. pesos na kalaga may tag pa, eh. Gag. <laughs> 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 Alright. Uh-huh. All right, guys. So, thank you for our amazing guest. Thank you, Prince. Thank you, Will, for joining thank you, guys. us. Thank Thanks. you for our also fellow administrators. And, of course, huge thank you for our sponsors who joined us today. And, of course, our viewers. Thank you, thank you, guys. We we'll wish you a merry, merry Christmas and a, and happy, a happy New, New Year. Year. More hobbies to come, more events for the Pilipintanos. And thank you for the support. Oh, by the way, guys, we have a poll for the shirts and the apron, please. Yeah. If you want, we, we need this data so we could actually count the numbers because it's finally happening. Because I want to pick it up. They don't want Shirts are coming in the apron. So, yes, guys, please fill out the poll. Don't forget. Merry Christmas. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Discord. Merry Christmas. Discord. Yeah. your YouTube channel.